So, we weren't planning on doing more Breath of the Wild. You but, ignorantly uh, uh, was like, no, we're not doing any more, actually. Well, because, like, you know, we, we beat Ganon. I didn't think I'd feel like going back, back and playing more of it after that. Uh, but then I started watching, Vi well, Vinny streams of it, and I found out that we missed, like, the biggest, coolest side quests in the game. Like, the Anju and Cafe equivalent of Breath of the oh. Wild. It, that equivalent? Does so, that mean I that thought it like... was... That was what put me over the edge. I think it's worth it to come back and do that quest. And maybe we'll look at a couple other stuff that we missed. Well, I don't know what this quest is, so... Or otherwise, I would have told you to go for it. As so you can see, I... I actually bought and started Tears of the Kingdom. Oh, I should probably turn my fan off, shouldn't I? Oh, yeah. Give me a moment. <sighs> It's been hot. Solar Flare's been fucking everything up. Give me a moment. It's Y2K. Alright, it's off. You good? I'm good. So, uh, as you can see... I uh, got and started Tears of the Kingdom, and that's kind of also what got me back into Breath of the Wild. I think I like Breath of the Wild more. Really? That's that's my hot, spicy Zelda take. Well, I can't wait for you to finish Tears of the Kingdom and give it to me, and I can tell you why you're wrong or not. Oh, hey, we're just we're just here. We're beginning. Yeah, I was uh, I was I was doing some stuff before uh, we started today. Uh. So there's uh, apparently quests to find two special horses, one of which is this white, like, descendant of Zelda's horse. Oh, really? So Zelda's... I got that. Yeah, what'd you name it? I got a white horse, and I named it Zelda. Cool. So that horses? exists. Uh, there's a bunch of, like, armor that we didn't get. That oh, yeah, I... you got the Zelda. Soul yeah, I got, all the, I got all the armor in the game. There's a full Zora set. It was, in fact, not just the armor. I see. So we, we can be fish. Fish. Oh, that, that'll really radically increase your swim speed, huh? And uh, another thing that I found from the dude who sells, like, monster gear. Yeah. So that's in the game. What does that do exactly? Nothing? Uh, you can't upgrade it, sadly. So it's it's kind of shitty. But, uh, but it, it makes you faster at night. At night. Yeah. Cool. I, it's disappointing that you can't upgrade it, because it, it really puts it, like, below all the other armor. I mean, if you just want to run away at night, then you can do that, I guess. Uh, oh, is it? Hey, you got this, the Xenoblade stuff. Oh, yeah, I got that. I think I had that last time, but it's, like, strictly worse than the Zora stuff, so, like, there's not a whole lot of reason to wear it. Oh, swim dash stamina up. Uh, something I, uh, so, you didn't get the DLC yet, did you? Uh, I didn't get the DLC. I may, because at this point I am considering 100%ing the game, but it's really expensive for how much there is in there. I see that your stamina is, like, also really high now. Like, I got a bit more stamina. Uh, three wheels is the max. Cool. So, so max stamina, you can just climb for long periods of time. Can I see, like, how many, like... Oh, white horse. I, let me get a picture of horse. If it weren't for my horse, I never would have come back to this game. Behold, a white horse in autumn. It's very disobedient. Like, this horse is worse than Otacon. It's got good it stats, in. but it really doesn't like me. I think it knows better than to trust me. Uh, there's also, uh, the other horse is a Ganon horse. So, depending on if we have time, we might do that. This stream. Red hair? Yeah, it, it's fucking huge is what it is. Lubu wow. It's a Tank giant horse. horse with no stamina. It can't dash, but it just, like, it mauls over monsters in your path. That's cool. Uh, uh, so the main thing that we didn't really do, we didn't really explore Hateno Village, like, at all when we were there. Yeah. So that's where we missed a lot of stuff. I'm just gonna leave the horse here. That's fine. fine. It'll be here for us. I wonder if it's so big you keep abandoning it. It's also a little... I, th I think even if I didn't dislike riding horses in this game, 
which Vinny didn't either. It's, it's, it's just kind of awkward. Uh, I would still probably run most places, because there's places you can't take your horses, like the volcano, and there's a whole thing where you have to... You have to go to stables and, like, summon your horse each time you want to ride it. Oh, yeah, summon the horse. Tap the land to summon horse. Yeah, I get you. Uh, right, so we're at Hatino Village now. Where am I going? I believe... There was a... So, one of the things we missed, there was, like, a kid who said, Hey, look at this cool thing I found. And then he, he took me somewhere. And I'm trying to remember where it is. Uh-oh. This cool thing I found. Yeah, I had originally planned to start this, the stream there, but uh, I, I got distracted by horse. Horse, horse, horse. The armor was being sold here, so we just, like, didn't go into the armor shop, basically. Yeah, we... I, uh, honestly... Uh, I, I think we did this game kind of dirty, but, you know... It, it I, I do a, think it, streaming it hurt it a little bit for me because I did a lot of it off stream and uh, as a result I kind of had to, there were points I had to just like stop and not do anything for a while because I was waiting for us to stream it again. I get you, yeah. And so, we don't have the opportunity to stream as often as we would like. More linear games are some are stuff that are more suited to our uh, schedule and style right now. I think it's down here? Yeah. There's a fucking, there's an evil Kali statue. What the fuck? Just, like, tucked away under this cliffside that we didn't see. What the fuck is... So there are some who still pay me homage. Holy you shit, can... that statue talked. You can talk? I can talk. I, I don't, if a statue talked to me, I would probably be more inclined to worship it than a statue that doesn't talk. I'm just saying. Yeah, what if, what if, so, so you're saying that if somebody put, like, a, a speaker in, like, a Jesus statue, and then it said stuff, you'd, you'd be, like, you'd immediately be like, okay, it's real. It's a miracle! What were you praying for? Long life? Wealth like so many of your kind? Whichever it was, you came to the right place. Alright, what, what do you... Alas, my life for money bargains didn't sit well with the goddess Hylia. Okay... She trapped me in the stone statue long, long ago. Villagers here called me the horned statue and don't even bother to wipe away the bird droppings. That sucks. One would think years upon years of such treatment would have made me mend my ways. No, I would have think it would make you more bitter. The, the, the institution has a problem. Yeah, this is not... I've only been biding my time for the moment someone who can hear me appears. Of course you're dressed as evil Link to do this. Shall we strike a... I, that's what the Dark Link costume should do. I should be able to, like, make deals with demon statues and shit. Yeah. I should be able to go to Ganon and say, Hey, bro, what's up? He even looks angry while he's in the Dark Link getup. Oh, it takes away your max HP? My touch is as subtle as ever. Note how I, note how I took that essence from you without leaving a mark. Wait, what does that do? Okay, I still have my little, my extra hearts, but hey, give that back. Give it back. Did you think I deceived you? Perish the thought. I hope that ours will be a long and a profitable relationship. As I may have mentioned once or twice, I'm a dealer in life and power. I take heart content. So this is the respec statue is what it is. Oh, okay. But the fuck, right. give me stamina. Okay, so so he is like providing like an actual service. He's just like You look skeptical, not to worry. Money and life are all as one to me. Sell so, okay, so it the cost is twenty rupees. I know that you may choose which one I return to you, heart or stamina. This seems like an overcomplicated system for a, a fairly simple thing to do. Yeah. Complete. You bark. So are you gonna respec to, uh... Are you just gonna put everything into stamina? Uh, well, we're so close to max, we might as well. Alright. Surrender. You have enough money to do it? Uh, it's 20... She pays me 100 rupees. 
and then I pay her 120 rupees. So I'm only okay. losing 20 rupees. All right. Yes. So oh, so you don't also done. don't have to get them back. We can just be like, okay, I need to sell my soul for cash. I wonder how many hearts did we start the game with? Three. Could we like sell them and go down to one? That challenge run? No. You. Yes, please. I want one back. Put it in my... Bargain is struck. I did 20 rupees for a respect. That's a fair price. Why is this person being demonized? This is a legitimate business. Yes, please, and then I max out your stamina. Yeah, I think I think it's just because the magic is unnatural. Like, look at its dark. Look at the dark energy coming from it. All right. I don't. I'm I good. Can't. Thanks. Uh, well, you don't have to be rude about it. Yeah, that's why he was like kind of salty, and that's that's why the, the villagers were like, "Fuck this guy." All right. So you you have max stamina. That's good. You can't, and I bet, I get you, I bet you can't even, like, improve it further with, like, the use of potions, so that's unfortunate. I don't, well, actually, no, you can. There is, like, the little extra hearts. You can get a little bit of extra stamina, too. Oh. But, uh, it, it, it's temporary, so once you use it, it's gone. Ah. Alright, so, uh... This I'm is an area we didn't see. They invented that, modular housing. That... What the fuck? That is so... What the, what, why is there modern architecture in my Zelda game? It looks so not Zelda, doesn't it? Yeah. It looks like something from a completely different game, like a building, like a builder game. It is cool that the the houses and buildings in this game are uh, are seamless, though. Yeah. Like, there's no loading. You don't have to go to a map that's clearly bigger on the inside. <laughs> no, you just go walk in, and it's like so. That, that's interesting. Those houses. Okay, so that's is it? That, oh, that's Rock? the link. No. Did you buy? Did you buy the house? I forget. Did we buy the house? I didn't. Time? So this is another thing I didn't know was in the game. I forgot this is about Link it. can I'm buy sorry. a house. Yeah. I forgot about it. Another Morning. day, another rupee. What's up? What are you doing? This old house has been abandoned. Everyone in Hateno Village have agreed we should demolish it. The, f the housing market is, like... These people are so lax. I'd buy this place. No, it's a perfectly good house. Don't destroy it. It's a great house. All right, where's your boss? I have some words for him. Let me talk. Give me your boss. I... Do you know how bad the housing market is right now? It sucks. Rent is The rent is too damn high. Wait, where the fuck is he? Where's your boss? Wow, this is... Yo, they got a chandelier. Oh, this is very open concept, this house. It's not even a front door. Okay, for real, though, where is he? Uh, maybe he... Is he back with the modular... Maybe he's by the fire. There he is. Oh, we got an apple tree. Did he get an apple tree? I have, like, 80 apples. I don't need more apples. What if you're stranded at sea? Morning. Uh, what are you doing? I'm demolishing a vacant house. Times are rough. With not what, a lot. Your fucking mind. Well, so you're it's not bothering it. anybody. Leave it up. Keep trying. What if it gets haunted? Yeah. Okay. Then okay. In this world, it. that's realistic. I can mm. buy it. Get a load of young money bags. Just wants to buy it, huh? All right. Let me lay it out for you. See, this house been vacant for years. So the villagers had a meeting, argued, voted, and decided to tear it down. The demolition cost with associated fees, permits, and other such details oh, covered at 50,000 rupees. Uh, do you have that much? So when you say you want to buy it, you're talking about 50,000 rupees. Yes. Oh. Little go-getter, aren't you? Reminds me, of, reminds me of me back in the day. Alright. Alright, look. Here's the deal. Just for you. 
I'll cut you a special price of 3,000 rupees. Okay, that's way more right. 50,000. I thought it was 10,000. Uh, 50,000 is a lot, but you could conceivably get to that eventually in this game. Oh, yeah, just keep bowling. Just keep selling shit. But in return, I'm going to need you to bring me 30 wood bundles. Oh, you so, got that much, don't you? I did, it, I did grind some rupees and wood so that we wouldn't have to do any grinding for this stream. <laughs> That's a construction joke. Oi. Hudson, Carson, stop what you're doing. Oi. Look at this this man, this this acorn of a gentleman. Yes. It looks like the, the Ocarina Carpenters. Hey, wait, Hudson! Hudson! Soft. He's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> He's also very stoned. Hey. Uh, who are you? I'm a carpenter for Bolson Construction. Name's Hudson. Bolson Construction. I'm off to my usual night spot. By the way... What? You gonna buy that house? Yeah! yeah. <laughs> You're pretty studly, aren't you? What? <laughs> You'd be a great hire for our company. What's your name? Oh, I'm well, Slink. too bad. Can't hire you if your name's Link. Why? Because your name doesn't end in Sun. Is that why we can't name this Link? Because if we named him, like, Link Sun, this, that would mess with this quest? <laughs> I think we did, did just accepted that everybody, is, that he's just Link, so... The boss Bolson has a strict hiring rule. Need a name ending in Sun. No exceptions. That's too bad. Builds Team Unity, he says. Anyway, you got some stuff to do, right? I guess. I've got a house to buy. You gotta buy a house. Easy there, chatty. A little space. I, I gotta, I'm gonna buy the house. I like how this is... I feel like this could canonically take place after we defeated, like, uh, like Calamity. Game. Hold on, I just... Like... I just realized... I'm sorry to interrupt. I just realized something. They're afraid of me because I'm wearing the Dark Link outfit. Oh... That's why they keep, like, doing a double take. Let me turn into a fish. Now, hold on, there's another armor that we didn't get. The rubber, oh, the yeah. jimp fish. There we go. What the fuck? That's just, that's just the other one except differently colored. It's a <laughs> rubber outfit, shock resistant. They're gonna do, still do a double take. What? But I'm not evil looking. No, we're good now. We're good. Talk to him. <laughs> he just like walks through me now. Ooh. Hello. Goodbye. Farewell. Then. No, we just we gotta let him get to his place before we buy the house, I guess. Oh, he's gotta walk slowly over to. Hey, you know what? You get a free cooking pot. Hopefully, it doesn't rain, then you won't be able to cook. Ready to deliver thirty wood bundles? I'll pay. Who are you? Me. I'm the luminary president, architect, and design lead of Bolson Construction. My name is Bolson. <laughs> Bolson Construction. <laughs> New construction, house reduction, wall destruction, remodel, auction, anything a house could need. Just its random ass construction company. He, he has like a radio jingle. <coughs> da, da, da. Oh, there was like a kid in town who did this dance. I was wondering why she was doing that. Yeah, because the construction people are so are so popular. I thought it was all the rage with kids these days. You must be oh, out no, of the loop. He took it from the kids. Do I look like I follow fads? I am my own man, all right? I can slink. I, dude, army of like different like flavors of Link that are that idea where Link was starts off as an old man, he's recounting his adventures, and you just team up with all these other links of the strategy RPG would be awesome. He didn't team dude, up with like, other links. He had like uh, other race companions, but that was no. what made Hyrule Warriors cool: was that you could have all yeah. the different links. Yeah, I'd love a link, but like, like an army of links is like a tactical RPG. Yeah. You get like regular link, you get like Goron Tunic link, and then we get like rubber suit link like this. You get, you get, get dark link, you get all the links. You get female link. They do have different powers, or like different abilities depending on game games. Yeah, yeah, that's why it would be nice. <laughs> all I needed to see was some nice wood. You're obviously serious about this, and now I know it. Yeah, I'm not taking your wood. You can. I'll sell you this old house for the low price of three thousand rupees. Oh. 
I got your money. Did you get it? I'm ready. Like with three zeros, you aren't just posturing? I have almost three times that. I'm Mr. Moneybags. Talk about studly. I'll just take that off your hands. Thanks for the sweet investment, spending so much money on anything at your age. It's just so studly. There's a weapon mount in there that never sold. Consider it a housewarming gift. Hope you get some use out of it. Oh. Next job time, baby. What have I got lined up again? Oh yeah, that's what's next. I was going to send Hudson up a call away to clear some land. So, I wouldn't... Taking a break. Taking a break. Did you like, buy that house? Yes. Impressive, you're just a pup. Don't worry about it. Anyway, looks like I gotta head out and leave this place soon. Why? I, I've been transferred. Transferred. Might have heard that Bolson Construction is plan planning to expand big time. That's great. He looks like the, 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 the Bolson, dude. We have like a perfect profile. He looks like the... the the meme of of the the dude, you know the one. Uh, Giga Chad. No, not 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 the Chad one, but uh, just like the manly profile face. I don't know what the name of it. Oh, I, I so, thought that was Giga Chad, but I guess Zora's domain is north of here. We're going north of that though, an area called the Akala region. It's pretty far. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well good luck. This is okay, this is then. as awkward as a fucking like uh like uh Wes Anderson film. He is a man of few words. Yep. You should come to the Akala region and say hello. Take care. Goodbye. He's tall. Oh yeah. He's suddenly. <laughs> Little Mr. Rogers music plays as he walks away. I, I missed it because I, I had to turn the volume down. <clears throat> Both of us hit a sort hit a personal milestone, huh? Time to kick back and get leisurely. You look a bit judgmental for such a fine moment. You're looking at me like we should both keep working at it. The, the embers are blowing in your face. Are you okay? He doesn't mind. Yeah, just. You don't even have to say it. Oh wow! I just bought a house and it's totally empty and depressing. <laughs> Oh, sure, that's you to a T. I see it in your eyes. You don't see my eyes. I'm wearing a gimp mask. Yep, I was just like you about a lifetime ago. So tell you what, let me help by taking care of furniture, or the exterior, or anything, really, for 5,000 rupees. Actually, no, scratch that. For you, 100 rupees. He was never planning on, like, 5,000, right? He's, he's given the old, like, the, the rigmarole. Like, yeah. Oh, I'm totally giving you a discount. 50,000. These, yeah, I see you in chat. You don't need to spam long messages. Please do not do that. <laughs> Cruise on by whenever you have the spending cash and we'll talk. I do wish there was more, like, uh, customization to this, but, uh, we can, like, fill out the house. And I have the rupees to do it. Oh. What are, what are our options? Uh, get a bed, first of all, probably. Oh, yeah, is there not oh, a bed? Oh, a door! Uh, yeah, Thank a door would be good. A sign with my name. People need to know whose house this is. This work ain't doing itself. Hi. Carson, we are on! Oh. Been waiting. <laughs> so studly. Practically perfect, if I say so myself. I'm a little jealous. Oh, there we go. Link's house. Link's house. Oh, wow, that's nice. Give me a door. Does this count as interior or exterior? Installations, probably. Bed. 
Lights, door. Door. These should, all these things should, well, two of these things should really come with the house. It's an old house, like... Well, you know, we'd I, already kind of demolished the door before you got here, so... You pay us to bring it back, to put it back in. How does that sound? Oh. Oh. Carson, are we studs of stud work? You're darn tootin' we are! Don't get it, because studs, they just put the fucking... Stud yeah. finder. Beep, beep, it's working. You ever see that one, uh, like, uh, like, Adult Swim infomercial, uh, from, uh, from the creators of, uh, Everything Everywhere All at Once? I have not. It's called, uh, it's called Broom Shaka Laka. Yeah? I was reminded of a joke, like, Hey, this has a stud finder! Oh, I wish I had that at parties! <laughs> That's a very common joke anytime the, the stud finder comes up in conversation. Yeah, that's what. It, it, it. Oh. Gotta get my mind right. Oh. Carson, awaken your inner animal. We are beasts of construction. They make a good team. You're a good team. You're a... We'll get we'll get the lights in bed at least. We can come back for the other stuff later if we want to. Yeah, go for it. Like just get the lights in the bed and then well at least okay. with the bed you can just go to your house and just sleep it sleep off Walk your angle. So fucking slowly. Mm. Yeah. This is like One hundred rupees for a bed? That's a fucking steal. I think. So, yeah, we can, uh... We have a free place to sleep. We have a cooking pot. We have an apple tree. Carson, recall that time you dazzled me? Well, it's dazzling time again, baby! <laughs> Whatever you say. And, uh, the, the wep- there's, like, a weapon, bow, and shield stand, so if you have, like, I just- weapon storage, I guess. Yeah, that sounds nice. Just get your weapons in and then just- You go through weapons so much in this game, though, that, like, is there any re reason to store anything? But, like, I guess if you wanted to get the, like, the, the champion weapons, like Mipha's spear and Daruk's sword and everything. Yeah, just have them just uh, stay there. Because yeah. uh, you can get all of those rebuilt at their respective places, but they each cost a diamond to do it. Oh, that's what diamonds are for? That's one of the things they're for, yeah. yeah. They're not just vendor trash? All right, well, we built we built a house. We got ourselves a nice little house. Um, you can also use can't... them for a diamond, like, jewelry armor item. Yeah. All, all, the, all the jewelry are useful for upgrading the, the jewelry items. Oh yeah, you got the power armor, the magical power armor as well. Uh, so that's Link's house. Uh, other things that we haven't done. Well, let's go. Let's go to a call. Let's go see what Hud Hudson's up to. He said we should go meet him. Yeah, let's go. I think so. What, what's the Anju like? The cafe quest that you're talking about is it this one coming up at Akala? Uh, we're getting to it. Yeah. Cool. Lake Akala. Other there things we that we haven't done, uh, there was, apparently the Hylian shield is in this game. It's like the ultimate shield. The and ultimate shield! And it's, uh, under Hyrule Castle. So if we got time, we could go on, like, a little mini quest to get that. Under the castle? And, That's... uh, we never checked in with Impa after beating the four beasts. There was, like, an extra cutscene we didn't see. Oh, wow. Damn. We should do that at some point, then. Is there just... I guess I got a Korok on these dick statues here. Where am I going? Oh, I'm going to this little island here. I guess you would just have to, like... I guess you would see, like, the building from a distance and go to investigate, and that's how you would find Hudson. I would see that island, and I'd be like, what the fuck is on that island? Holy shit. 
Well, if you got here before doing the house quest, I guess there would just, like, be nothing, right? It'd just there, be a bunch of rocks. Be, it'd be, yeah, like that. Oh, and a house. No, he, I assume he built the house. Oh, this is a town of rocks. There's a statue here. Nice little music track. Ooh, hey. Cook stuff. Oh, you got a red shirt. You changed outfits. Yeah, we'll meet again. Who are you? I'm one of the Bolson construction contractors. The name's Hudson. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Me too. Since I've been transferred here, I've decided to build a village from scratch. Every village needs a name, though. I think I'll call it Terrytown. Because you can't tarry. However, in tarry town? built a house to store the village supplies in, but there just isn't enough. Enough what? Enough anything. People, money, stuff. Oh. Do we have to out. finance... Do we have to finance this... This, uh... Fucking this town? is us building a town from the ground up. That's pretty nice. That's nice. You're a lifesaver. Well, I suppose to get started, we'll need houses for people to live in. Can't invite them until we have homes. Think you can bring me ten bundles of wood? Bring me that, I can combine it with what I've already got and get started on new houses. Alright, I got wood for you. Nope. Okay. Very well. Well, he took that well. Yeah, he took it very well. He's, he's like a stoic dude. You're a lifesaver. Well, next is... These boulders are driving me nuts. I want to move them out of the way so we can develop the land underneath. Really help me out if you could find someone with enough brute physical strength to bust them apart. That ends in sun. If we're talking about brute physical strength, and we are, a Goron would be my first choice. Okay, so... Good luck, you'll need it. This seems like a real long shot. Oh, and one last wrinkle. Yeah, in accordance with the official Bolson construction policy, that someone's name must end in sun. Alright, so we gotta find a Goron that, uh, whose name ends in sun. We have yes, we have to go recruit a Goron named Sun. This is just like a storehouse. So he's the one who built, uh, or they're the ones who built all these like modular houses. Yeah, they're they're unique Bolson construction style. I guess we're going to Goron City. Yep. Uh, this... put on the Firebreaker armor. Yeah, change all my gear before I go there. Yeah. Pull out my drill yeah. shaft. Make sure your bow isn't wooden. So, uh, all right. So we gotta hunt for uh, for the right the right stuff, the right people for the job. Construction company, Ocean's Eleven style. Son, D you're not the one. Good timing, little guy. Rudani Our stopped God. making a ruckus, so we can finally relax. Yeah. Uh, do you happen to know a Goron that with la with like that has Sun in its name, or it has to end in Sun? Right. Uh, oh, there's a Gerudo here. Holy What the hotness. fuck? How are you? Savant. Damn! Flirting in the middle of the day, are we? Bo I just, like, talked to you. Chill. That's not what I... Ma'am, how are you able to withstand this horrifying heat? As you can see, I'm from the Gerudo region. I came for the jewels that are to be found in Goron City. The eruptions on Death Mountain have finally come to a stop. As a result, we've started restocking jewels. Do you have some amber? I need a whole lot of it. Okay. Willpower alone is not going to save me from this heat. Is that all you're going on is willpower? 
10 pieces of in, amber. Sell All right. To the shop for 300 you, or you give them the, the... Or give them to her for 500 I probably shouldn't sell these, though, because, like, I, I do still have, like, upgrades to do. Yeah. Well, it's nice to just, like, indulge her. I'm gonna assume she's got one of them, uh, them fireproof elixirs going on. Probably, yeah, you're right. Hey, ice cream! Yeah, ice cream truck's back. We don't get ice cream trucks in Ballard. All we get is pain. I don't love the Goron City theme. Kind of, kind of goofy with the trumpets. Like, specifically off-key trumpets. Crane. Nope, not a sun. I like the Mardi Gras soundtrack. <laughs> Is that how you interpret for, it? Yeah, it sounds like Mardi Gras. Sounds like a Mardi Gras festival. We're still we're looking for a Goron with the last name of Sun. So. Actually, I, I know where these people are, so. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. If I remember correctly, he's down in the uh, construction site. Which, where was that? It was down here somewhere? I don't have a... There's a boss there, I guess. Yeah, there's a talus. Oh, there it is. What was the error about? The error? There's like an error in the on the screen. I'm guessing it has to something to do with something. Uh, temperature yeah, so there's an error down there. Temperature reading. Error. <laughs> That's funny. Moblin hanging out. Uh, other things that I don't have enough stuff to get from. Uh, I don't remember if we saw the the like monster shop dude on stream or not. I I don't know. Did... But uh, he's the one who sells the Dark Link stuff. There's oh, some yeah. other stuff that he sells that I didn't have enough of like his special currency to get yet. There's a uh, like monster horse gear. Oh, you can dis disguise your your horse as a monster. I don't know if it's a disguise, but it it it, it like uh, I don't know, so just for style, I guess. And uh, there was more masks that I didn't get. Like we have the Bokoblin and the Moblin mask, but uh, he also has a Lazalfos and a Lionel mask that I didn't that I don't have. Django. Nope, not a son. Bye. Django. Unchained? Great Grayson. Bet. Grayson! You need something. Your What's Grayson, your right? name? What's your name? Your name ends in sun. D yeah? What about it? This is weird. We wanna talk, come back at night when I've got damn it. Shit, we gotta rest in bed. Is there a oh there's a cooking pot. Otherwise, I could have, like, thrown some wood on the ground and it would have immediately caught fire. Yeah, instant campfire. Just add wood. Wood. Where's the wood? Oh, hello. Django yeah. and Grayson. Hold on, I'm on break. What is it? And you are? We've been what introduced. Number? Link, please. What? Grayson. I don't like repeating myself, though, so just remember that, okay? Now, um, one... What? D one last time. Your name ends in sun. Right? I'm a digger here, as you can see. I dig and I dig day in and day out. To be honest, I'm sick of it. Feel like maybe I'm not meant to toil away in obscurity like this. Oh, you're looking for a career change? I've got just the thing. Huh? There is? Where? Tell me more! What if I just backed out now and I said, none of your business? Shh, that would be mean. Terrytown, never heard of it. What's the deal with that? What's the deal with that place? 
It's uh, it's it's uh, it's a little bit of you. a fixer upper, but that's what you're for. You're here to fix it up. So there is somewhere out there that needs me. Kala isn't too far from here. All right, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna strike while the iron's hot. Thanks for letting me know, brother. Pellison, oh, oh, you have another son. You have a son named Son. Pellison. And Grayson. Hey, they got you got two for the price of one. That's, uh... Pellison, we're gonna leave. What? Okay, but Dad. We live here. You're just uprooting our entire life on a whim like this? I'm having a midlife crisis. You gotta go. You get the same little jingle every time someone goes off to Terrytown. Was there a... I, I guess there was a fast travel there, because there was, like, the cliff we just jumped down from. Yeah, that is, that's as fast as travel as you're going to get, I think. I said, we saw, like, the dragons flying around while we were playing, right? Yeah, we did. Apparently, uh, they're not, like, actually bosses that you fight or anything. You just, like, just, hit them, and they drop body parts for you. And you can use them. That's nice of the dragons. This is, I think that's the best you're going to get, probably. There's also one that's, like, chilling on a mountaintop that we have to meet that we never met. Chilling on a mountaintop? Yeah, he's just up there. You go talk to him like, Hey, I need your stuff. And he's like, no, fuck you, I'm leaving. And then he flies around after that. <laughs> Wait, you, you, he actually speaks the Hylian language? I think That's so. It? Hold on, what's that? What oh, is... that's the, that's, that's Kilton. That's the, the monster dude. Oh, okay. Did you grab everything from him yet, or? Uh, no, but I don't think I have to. We can go see him just in case we didn't see him. In, the, the in any not, previous streams. The town's not going anywhere. He does go somewhere. I think he he like sets up shop outside all of the all the towns in the game. Fish. At once. In a row. I thought it, I thought I I could have sworn it was like random. Random. Yeah. Oh no. no I, like, I'm pretty sure he's at all of them at once. Keep the Zora gear on. It, it, it like improved swimming is nice. Also, I don't think we ever use the ability where you can swim up waterfalls with it. It's actually really handy. I bet it is. This smell is it a choo choo or perhaps? Hello. Oh, it's you, Fishman. Good evening. How may how may I help you? I'm sure this is a character that's going to be around for like several games to come. He's going to be the new Beetle. Just like only got just seven like, mon. Uh, you got? You got... He's just spring loaded hammer. Does almost no damage, but sends things flying. That's funny as fuck. But then so you got so the Lazalfros mask. Lionel mask seems like that'd be funny. Uh, this is the movie. horse stuff. Looks a little gaudy, but I don't know, maybe it'll look good on like Ganon horse. What is what is the what does it do? I, like I, what the monster stuff. What is I don't think- I think it's just decoration. Well, shit. You make the white horse look even more, like, evil. Yeah. That's the- that's like the descendant of Zelda's horse, so it came with, like, a side quest and, like, royal gear. So it's already decked out. Oh. Uh, and then he uses his own little currency, so you have to sell specifically monster parts to him. Yeah, so... But, yeah, uh, I-, I I kind of already blew all of mine to get the, the Dark Link stuff in time for the stream. That's fine. That's good enough. And if you know if he is, like, what you what you say he is, then if he's just there, then I'm sure that'll be fine. <clears throat> I'll bet he's probably in, in Tears of the Kingdom. It's kind of stunning that uh, 
Tears came out six years after this game. Considering that Majora came out one year after Ocarina. Yeah. It. <laughs> Wait, how long did Tears They're similar take, like, in the sense years? that they... Yeah, it was uh, 2017 Jeez. to 2023. Same Remind, engine, too. This was a Wii U game. Yeah, and they I, basically didn't optimize it at all when they ported it to the Switch. They just they just moved it over pretty haphazardly. And then they had to spend patches to fix the shit they did. Yeah. Still Plus. doesn't perform, like, perfectly, but it definitely performs better than it did at launch, watching other people's streams of it. Where's Goron? I sleep? Oh, there he is. Hey, I got, I got a son. We need more sons. So, uh, I know you can't hear it, but there's now a Goron trumpet in the background theme of this song. Oh, it's, gonna, this... it's going to add... Okay, I hold on. I'm going to give it a second. As you can see, I'm working real hard. Hudson praises me a ton for breaking these rocks. We're finding some nice ore, too. My little brother, Pellison, even started an ore shop. Check it out when you get a chance. Oh, you can buy ore here? Oh, that's nice. You can't... I don't think you can buy ore anywhere else in the game. Oh wow, this is this is like like they're a good reason to like probably can't buy it all at once. It's not quite like uh, Dragon Quest Builders, but it's a similar kind of thing where you get to you know build a community up from the ground. Ooh. That is nice. Hey, you sent some Gorons back here. That's perfect. The brute strength of a Goron is undeniable. Those boulders don't stand a chance against them. Names like Grayson and Pellison, they'll fit right in. What if this? What if the little brother didn't have a name that ended in son? Would you have to kick him out? Well, he wouldn't work for the company, but he'd, he'd live here, probably. Pellison started selling the ore found within the boulders. You should go say hello again. Well, next is... Uh-huh. Before more people can move here, we need home for, homes for them to live in. Can you bring me 20 bundles of wood? Do you have enough? Bring me that, I can combine it with what I've already got and get started on new houses. He does build houses very fast. This is an impressive carpenter. Yeah, he's... He is the master of his craft. I mean, I had him already, so... You're a lifesaver. Appreciated. Working such long hours every day really wears on my clothes. Could you look for someone who's got a gift for tailoring for me? That's the next most important thing here? We huh, need somebody to make, like, the, the, the flag. What about, like, food? Like a farmer? Oh, okay. Farmer of the Hens and Sun. Hey, weren't you a slightly different-looking fish the last time I saw you? Don't worry about it. We're talking about tailoring. There could be someone among the Gerudos good at that. Good luck. You'll need it. Gerudo Sun. Run into anyone that fits with what I've said. Send them here to Terrytown for me. What kind of a Gerudo name ends in Sun? That's oh, like well, a better... completely different culture. That That's, like, way less likely. Male Gerudo. By the way, you're gonna need to don the fucking, like, uh, like, out, like, proper bow out. Nah, I'll be a fish in the desert. Watch me. Desert fish. Did I ever tell you when I first played, got to this part, I thought I had to, like, sneak in, like, regular, and then I wasn't able to because every time I climbed the walls people would immediately see what I was doing. Yeah. So I had so I was like, okay, I have to wear a proper outfit. Okay. I think the only thing that works besides the Gerudo stuff is the sand boots. You can wear those in town and they won't care. That makes sense. I had to do a quest for... So, the, the reason I thought that the Zora armor wasn't a complete set was because there are pieces that aren't, like the sand boots and the snow boots. Yeah. I, I got I, the... I mean, I, did, I, I didn't think that was the case, too, because it's like, okay, that makes sense. I got this, which two. we completely missed in the tutorial. Like, we were supposed to get a cold clothing from the old man, and we just, we just left. Warm we just booked it out of the plateau. Bye, old man! We, yeah, we just kind of... Well, that's the thing about this game. We just kind of just, like... I, to be fair, when I was playing alone, I missed the, like, up the uh, Deku... Like, the Korok, the giant Korok that sells you, uh, like, uh, stuff like yeah. for seeds. That's not a great thing to miss. You don't want to miss no. that. No, I need more. I need as many weapons as I can. 
Sucks that I missed it. <coughs> I don't remember for sure if this one is in Gerudo Town. I think she's in the Oasis, actually. Oh, uh, well. Dora? The Explorer? Dora. Dora! Dora! Is salty? I, that makes me I remember a story when I was still paying attention to salty bets. Yeah. There was like a uh, there was the next up matchup was somebody called Dora versus somebody else, and and the chat was like going, Who the f Dora? Who the fuck's Dora? And, and we, they were all making like Dora the Explorer jokes. Imagine <laughs> the name of the opponent pops up and it's Swiper. <laughs> but it wasn't though. I don't remember who it was. I think it was like a more Marvel -y character, and then. Everybody was convinced it was Dora, and then when the fighter showed up, it was a fucking centaur. <laughs> With like an axe and a shield and shit. We Are we talking about Mugen? We're talking about Mugen, right? Yes, Mugen. Salty Bet's still a thing? Oh, there's Gorons here? Ooh. I made it all the way to Gerudo Town. I'm not sure why they let me in. I guess there's no female Goron, so they can't really discriminate. I I have good news. Salty Bet is still a still thing. Oh, that's good to hear. Dude, we should, do you want to do a Salty Bet stream where we just, like, watch it and we just bet? And do a, want we do real characters? Yeah. <laughs> Lady, don't you have, like, a bed? What do you do? There's no one here. The Empress is, like, sleeping. You should be, too. It's a very comfortable chair. Fuck off. I don't- my duty is not to guard the- the- the chief. My duty is to guard the throne. Wait, what am I telling her? Uh... You've lost the simit- oh, right, there was like a, a special, like, fancy sword I got or something. Yeah, you can- you can rebuild it if you give him diamonds. Can't believe you'd lose such a precious item entrusted to you by the chief. Oh. I shouldn't be surprised. What do you want to do? Make a scimitar of the seven. I'll need one diamond, five flint. Nah, I'm good. I'm I'm not gonna lie. Urbosa's weapon kind of sucked. <clears throat> they do look cool, but it's kind of not worth using the, the like the champion weapons. Uh, Darux is fine. Darux is like, uh, like the 60 power stone hammer thing. Oh, yeah, that's cool. I. Boulder Breaker. The other ones, it, like, other... Mifas is a spear that's like 20 power. Like, who's gonna use that? Late game, anyway. Yeah. There's not a lot of reason to use it. Does anyone use the Master Sword in this game? I used it for fucking cutting wood. You use it against the bosses and like uh, and like things that are possessed. And yeah, but other than that, you would be able to use it more if uh, as like a better weapon. If like, if I had the DLC. Yeah, if you don't have the DLC, then it's like a shit tier weapon. If you have a DLC, it's it's like it's a regenerating sixty power weapon once you upgrade it fully. The problem is that is that the. Uh, Oh god, I can't wait till you eventually get the DLC. You gotta stream, you gotta stream the trials, because those are, that is... If I get the DLC, then we, we, we can stream that. I still don't know if I will or not yet. Alright. But uh, our plan for Tears of the Kingdom is that I'll play it on my own, and if we do eventually stream it, then it'll be, it'll be Jack playing, so... That's still a ways off if it happens. Yep. Uh oh, Yiga. So you're, so you're going to the Oasis, because that's yeah. where the. the... Hello, Kay yeah, makes Barta. Sense. Is this the Oasis? Or is this... No, this isn't far enough yet. Fuck off! Zelda, the, the Zelda, Zelda series on a whole just has, like, the most, the stupidest, most imitatable voice clips. Yeah. Well, it's just basically people just shout, like, uh, Yeah! Uh. Oh, 
Uh, I haven't looked into it too deeply yet, but uh, you know how since the Ocarina of Time PC port, we've been waiting for the Majora's Mask decompilation so they can start on a Majora PC port? Yeah. Well, apparently, under everybody's nose, some dude made an algorithm that is able to automatically recompile N64 games for PC. Oh, all of them? I think so. But any, they have a working version of Majora. I don't know if it will be as fully featured as, like, a, a manually decomped PC port would be. But there is a working one, so I might check that out later this year. Dude. Dude, we, PC Buck Bumble? <laughs> PC, our PC, like, Sar Sarge's Heroes? It's what everyone's been waiting for. Oh, that's a dog. Shit. No, it's okay. Dog is immune to damage. That's a dog. <laughs> He's just... I couldn't- I didn't know what happened, I couldn't help myself! The Ronson. Dog. That's a very non-Gerudo sounding name. Ronson? Okay. Fucking her name is Ronson? Oh, wait, lizard. I want you. Ah! I lost the lizard. Damn it! No, not the soup ladle, the cooking pot. I don't know when this this Ronson wakes up, so I'll I'll wait. Hello? Uh, is she awake now? Got the Dio She's... lipstick. Yeah. Who are you? You're a Vo, aren't you? Uh, yeah? yeah. Well, obviously! You have to ask? I do look kind of androgynous, actually. I'm sorry. I bet Mama would have a problem with a delicate Vo like you. Oh, oh yes, I'm Ronson. I hail from Gerudo Town. Oh. Yeah, search I, I for can... the love of my life. I'm so exhausted by it. Search? That's rough, buddy. I don't know why I'm even saying this. It's no business of a Hylian like you, but... Well, who are you gonna date if not a Hylian? There's some sexy fish people, I guess. Sexy fish people. Constantly being bothered by my mother over not having found the love of my life. Oh, there's no male Gerudo, right? Mm -hmm. Exactly! Since it's so rare for a Vo to be born to a Gerudo, we seek out husbands from the world beyond Gerudo Town. I've oh, proven yeah? myself to be a gifted tailor, but none of the Vo I've met seem to appreciate a well-hemmed garment. I was hoping my craft would help me find a mate, but it doesn't seem like there's much work for a tailor around here. Oh, you want to work for a tailor? Go to Terrytown! That's so abrupt. Alright, spill the deets. Hudson and Terrytown needs a tailor. That's something, I suppose. Kala region is kind of far away. Maybe I need to travel. Getting far away from a village full of Vi. It's not like I'm accomplishing anything by staying here. I can continue my search in Terrytown. Yep, this, uh, son. I'm gonna go home and pack a huge bag. It'll be a long journey all the way there. I'll see you again in Terrytown. Awesome. Good luck to you. she just, like, sleeping under a tent when there was, like, a perfectly good house behind her? Uh... Oh, rock. I mean, she likes, she likes being outside. Well, don't, don't give her shade. But she needs the shade. I mean, don't, don't, like, give her verbal shade. Wouldn't help her. Oh, right, this is the... Off. This is who we got the, uh, the, the clothing from. Back to Terrytown. Another reason that I thought it was important to do this is because this quest is canon. And uh, Terrytown is still there in Tears of the Kingdom. What it, so imagine you don't do this quest in Breath of the Wild and you're like, Hey, you remember when you helped build our, our village up? I mean, I'd be like, I guess that happened. I don't remember it, but... Oh, three statues. And then... Whee! 
Link, you gotta stop doing that. You're gonna terrify the town people when we get them. Well, you know? how about you build an ancient shrine in town for me, all right? He'll do it. There'll be one there by tomorrow. Build an ancient shrine. Yeah, I couldn't actually build one, so I excavated an existing one and moved it here. It took me about eight hours. God. Imagine, imagine some asshole, like, like taking a, a castle and then moving it to America brick by brick. Like a fucking asshole. Oh, hello? Oh, I just uh, wanted to talk. All right, not in the mood, I guess. What what, are, what is she selling? Uh, desert vo stuff. Oh, so she took the secret of uh of desert vo uh like equipment with her. Oh yeah, that's the stuff that was in sale only at the at the secret shop in Gerudo Town. Yeah, she took the secrets with her. Two thousand rupees for one diamond. And it, and it restocks, like every every blood moon. That's, yeah, oh, wow, those I don't know if it's up. every blood moon or every day, but yeah, all shops have, like, a finite amount of things. I thought that there was a shop that was selling Bokoblin guts, so I would let just, like, buy a hundred of those and sell them to the, the monster parts guy, but uh, you can only buy three at a time. Oh, wow. Where'd you yeah, come that's from? That's... Ah, you get... A dog just came. I would, I would pet the dog. I can't pet the dog. You can run around in circles. That's how, that's how you pet the dog. Dog, eat chicken. That's dangerous, dog. Aww. Good dog. Hey. Right, well, we got a Gerudo. You found someone from the Gerudo. Thank you. She was able to patch every last hole in my work clothes before I could blink. She's pretty... Uh, amazing. Hey, Since her name is Ronson, I have no objections. Here she's decided to continue putting her skills to use by opening a clothing shop. You should stop by and say hello. Mm. Next is... Yep, more wood. Need more wood. <laughs> Do you confess to your sins? More wood. More wood. Have... No, I still got plenty of wood. Confess to your sins, you liar. You you need to confess more weight. I don't know what you're referencing. The, oh, did I not tell you that story? About... Of, like the, the most hardcore dude in the Salem witch trials. This dude was being accused of being a witch, and so as as a result, they're like, we gotta get him to confess to being a witch to see really seal the deal. And they're like, and they gave him trial by ordeal, which means that they would just lay him down, put a board on him, and start adding stones until he confessed. And so every time they would add some stones and they would tell him, confess your sins, he would just go, more weight. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I don't Did it work know out who, for him? I don't know who gave up first. I gotta look that up. <laughs> it's finally starting to look like a town around here. That's exactly why we need to set up some distribution. Okay, now we're gonna worry about food. Yeah, well... Now, well, I mean, we were able to hunt, or hunt and gather before. Now we gotta get food. I'd like to get a general store up and running, but there's no one with the connections and qualifications to run it. I think you could keep keep an eye out for someone who knows about distribution and could run a general store. Uh, traveling trader. That's a good. Thought. Oh, he refused to enter a plea so that he would his sons would be able to get his land. The, the witch dude or whatever? Yeah, Giles Corey is his name. So they like they like you've been accused of being witch trapped. How do you plead? And he would just he would just refuse. And so they would they would get him to ordeal. They would try to ordeal him and he would just be like, More weight and then he died from it, and then his sons got his estate because he never pl officially pleaded. Yeah. That's a hard that's a hardcore way to go. That's kinda of badass actually. Well, that's a good thought. Rio can fly around, so they should be able to retrieve and deliver supplies. A oh, bird. So we need a bird that ends in sun now. Bird sun. Does this dog, like, go anywhere? Apparently you can, like, befriend dogs and they'll lead you to, like, buried treasure or something. Oh, that's cool. This one doesn't seem to be leading anything, though.
Where are you going? I don't know. Now this one we did meet. We oh we did meet him. Who was he? Wh which guy was this guy? Uh, there was a dude in Rito Village who was complaining about. He didn't want to. He wants to open his own store. He doesn't want to work at his mom's store. Oh, and then he's just like, okay, I, I wish there was some way I could get out of this, and then... Okay, I get it now. Ooh, them frames. Save them. Fison. Yeah. What's up? My mom is getting on my last nerve. I don't want to just help. I want to open my own store and sell whatever I want. I don't want to compete with mom. I wish there was a place I could set up my own shop. Bison. Yeah, we need we need uh, people who uh, we need general goods, dude. You want in? What's well, it's a really good thing all these people in need have last name have names that end in son. Otherwise, none of this would work out. They, they knew. They knew they they were united by destiny. This is the part where, like, the, the Legend of Zelda, every, every game is, like, the retelling of, of the same story. This is when someone says, wait, that seems a little bit contrived, or is that really how it happens? I shit you not, it did. They were all, thought, they all had names that ended in sun. I thought he was crazy, but it ended up working out. No, Hudson was a prophet. Well, I guess it wasn't his rule, it was Bolson's rule. I'll gather some items on the way to Terrytown and then sell them at my new shop. Uh. Thanks for the tip. He's wearing, like, like a fucked-up version of Zelda's dress from Ocarina of Time. He just, like, ripped it in half. He's just, just like, Shh. Yep. Wearing my thing. Or is that a guy or That's girl? a guy. Okay. Son, I... Well, I, the Gerudo had... I don't have enough for a uh, for upgrade, do I? Uh, I know you've made a deal with that demon statue. You're not getting any more help from me. Yeah, you, you don't have any, you don't have enough. Sorry. It's kind of weird that Hylia still exists as like a goddess who like talks despite, to Link, despite, despite her, her being like the Zelda. Reincarnation. Yeah, the reincarnation of a. Uh... Yeah. It's weird, but... Also, apparently the... So, the the timeline of this game is that 100 years ago is when the Calamity happened and Link was injured. 10,000 years ago is when all this stuff was built. The... Like, all the ancient technology and everything. And already that is, like, way past Ocarina and the other games. Because some of the, the Zora... I, I did, like, a side quest where I read all the, the Zora tablets. And uh, they mentioned that Varuta is named after Ruto. The what? The, Wait, the what? Divine Beast, Varuta, is named after Ruto. Oh, so Ocarina of Time okay. is explicitly mentioned in spots of this game. It's just like abs an absurdly long time ago. This is like the end point of the of the Zelda timeline. I feel like. Wait, what, can we? We still need the Cyberpunk uh, Zelda game. Yeah. Yeah. To, it, look, if this is ten thousand years later and they're still at basically the same level of technology, we're never going to get to Cyberpunk. It's never going to happen. You managed to find a Rito and bring him back here. Thank you. He wasted... Oh, you also got, like, new people. There's, like, a time-stop old lady who moved into town. Neat. What? Wow! Wait, so people are just coming now, now that, now that like, we're building the economy. He wasted no time getting a general store up and running. Apparently his family runs one, too. With a name like Fison, he'll fit right in. Selling things that he picked up while flying around. You should really go check out the store. Well, what is he selling, then? Well, next is... Or we can call more people here. We need more homes. 50 bundles of... Do you have enough 
Do you have that much wood? I don't think you do. Who are you? Monari. Oh. Who might you be? I am no one important. I'm, my name is not important. I don't suppose you came to Terrytown to purchase a holiday home? That's right, I am a new homeowner, and I'm already looking at a summer home. That's how- well, I mean, you beat Ganon, you gotta- you gotta take some- you gotta chill out some- at some point. My husband is taking great care of this area, but there seems to be- seem to be a lot of strange folks just outside of town. Oh, you're talking about Kilton. Don't judge by appearances, he's a legitimate businessman, alright? Legit. Alright, so... Oh, another per old person. It's gotten warm, hasn't it? Oh, what do we have here? Another youngin' in town. We're building a retirement home? I'm called Moggs. My son has grown up and I'm retired, so I w when I heard a rumor about Terrytown, I just had to move here. Oh, it's the it's the dog owner. It's just like an old man and his dog. Aw, that's cool. That's what uh, Vinny complained Star Trek Picard should have been. It should have just been a retired Picard living in a vineyard with his dog. And then, and then occasionally... <laughs> Not like a, like a crazy action show with a 90-year-old man jumping out of explosions. That's what makes it funny, though. It, is, it is funny. It's ironic, I guess. Yeah, that's... Just, I, I've never watched it, though. Because they, they ruined 709's character. Savak, they... that is correct. Hee <laughs> hee. Don't you remember I... me? I'm Ronson. Maybe you've already heard, but Hudson and I are engaged. It, what? Oh wow! That nice. was I, that was literally five seconds ago. Hudson isn't all that great at things besides his chosen profession, but I guess that's not a huge deal, is it? You should talk to him if you want to know more. I guess this is something we were supposed to do over the course of the game, so logically oh, that should have taken longer than three hours. It's been three hours. Hey, uh, hey, welcome, son. Marry me. Okay. What? Well, that? I. I mean. <laughs> that is how Hudson would respond. Just okay. I, oh. I need to. What? You okay? Is that what? another old? You're a traveler. I normally don't have time to mingle with commoners. Oh no! Wait, we're all commoners. There's no fucking royalty left. Guessing you're a little hard up for cash. Am I right? No. What you looking at? It's a great. It is a great view. Like a really great view. For the down payment, I'd say a hundred rupees sounds fair, right? Uh, a down. A down payment. <laughs> Here's a hundred rupees. So you accept then? Excellent. All right, what do you want me to do? The Torren Wetland lies to the west of here. You're aware that there are guardians there. Not just one, either. Two of them! You know how dangerous yes. they are. I'd like you to find and wallop both of them in Torren Wetland. Nah. Guardian hunting? They're my rupees now, bye! He'll do it eventually. I can just tell. Just arrows? Ancient gear. I wonder if this changes. I wonder if he sells different, like, monster drops. Actually, I need these. Dude, That'll I be good been. to get later. Hey! What can I get you? Hey! Been a while. It's been, like, ten minutes. After Time's I... flowing weird. After I left Rito Village, some bandits tried to mug me. Lucky for me, they didn't have wings. Terrytown is really great. Nice weather, no moms to annoy me. It's really great being able to run my own shop and sell the things I want to sell. Anyway, I'm open for business, so shop to your heart's content. Okay, so let's say that we started this quest, like, first thing. And this was what determined what order we went to the places in. We'd go, we'd go to Gerudo, uh, to, to Goron first, in that case. That's that seems insane. a little intense. That's insane to me that the first thing they they would want you to do would be to head to fucking Death Mountain. I, I don't feel like it would like it's possible you can with like the fireproof elixirs, but 
Re the thing is, is that the Rito uh, one, it, it's a uh, reward is just too good to pass up with the high jump if you would know about it. So, yeah, the nonlinearity kind of is just like. How, how are they? Uh... By the way, I, I don't know anything about Tears of the Kingdom. How are the dungeons in that one? I haven't gotten to any dungeons yet. Okay. I, I just I noticed that uh, these are arranged in this way. I wonder if this is signifying of anything. Ah, uh, probably. Wa like, so water, then sky, then... Okay. I do feel like uh, the Gerudo dungeon and area was the hardest. Yeah, it was. The boss was, was fucking hard. Zora the, area the, the... is probably the most welcoming. Zora and Rito, <laughs> neither of those were really bad. But the Gorod boss was, like, piss easy. You just yeah. shot it with arrows and then it died. I mean, all the bosses were kind of a joke, except for... Fucking for, Thunder Blight. Yeah, Thunder Blight was the one who was, like, the most dangerous. And we killed him first. What am I doing? Oh, Hudson. Yeah, you need to talk to Hudson. Hey, Goron. What, what, how has you your have, life changed? Hey, do you have enough wood? I do. How has your life okay. changed over the course of these, like, two hours? Hudson's building a village. Breaking up these rocks will make Hudson happy and also score us some ore. Okay. What about... How do you feel about all this, kid? Your life was kind of, like, ripped out of the ground without any input on your part. You're big bro Grace. Oh, wait. Bro, you're not his father? What do you want to talk about? Uh... This place... Once we started breaking up the rock here, we found it's rich in ore, so I decided to open up shop. I don't know why we have so much ore here. Maybe it's because we're close to Death Mountain. These here are freshly mined. It's so cold here. Maybe just the Goron City is too hot. Hmm, okay. He's so much happier than he was at the Southern Mine. He gets praised a ton for how fast he can move rocks. I'm sure that makes him extra happy. And if he's happy, then I'm happy. It's the feel-good story of the summer. Uh, how do you feel? Good? Yeah. So... This is a nice little quest line, though. It is, yeah. You're, build you're actually building something as opposed to just, like, rapidly killing shit. You're a lifesaver. I actually wanted to talk about something a little personal. Oh, not that kind of personal. Actually, I got engaged. Congratulations, no Hudson. Congratulations. Thank you. Two. You're a cute couple. Thank you. That was that was a weird one frame. What was on screen there? We anyway, need a priest. <laughs> we want to have we a little a... ceremony to celebrate, but we need someone priest-like to officiate. Godson. You look for someone priest-like for us? We're looking for people devout enough to have a priest-like person. I'd suggest the Zora. Are they devout? Like, who who, yeah. do, who do they worship? Dude, we're gonna have to get one of the racist old men. <laughs> God damn it. Accordance with the official Bolson construction policy. <laughs> what if there's just, what if there is just no Zora named Sun? What if this is just a dead end? And you can't get married. Oh, that's too bad. Where's Zora's? Uh, am I blind? Where oh, are the Zoras? It. Yeah, this is it. Yeah. Just imagine, like, when it gets, like, really hot here, we're gonna be miserable. I'm gonna be miserable. <laughs> there's no AC. All I got is a fucking fan. You should try to, like, get one or confirm if you can, like, have one. Yeah, I'll talk to you. I'll talk to him. Your previous place didn't allow, like, AC window units, which is just kind of a gross policy as things continue to get hotter. Yeah, and then again, more the more AC, the more it's... I don't want to think about it, actually. I don't like, I want to get off that train of thought. It's 
Sun. No, never mind. It's just it's the no, sun god he's... Leto. I think he trades luminous stones for diamonds. Oh, you can give him luminous stones, he gives you diamonds? Yeah. That's that's a hell of a trade. Luminous stones are just fucking everywhere. It's a lot of them though. I think it's like sixty for one diamond. Hello, Prince. Just uh, looking out, being princely. Sidon, not Sid, Sid son, unfortunately. Oh, Sidon. Sidon. Have I mentioned Sidon. how incredible you are and how thankful I am? Yeah, you are. You're a bro, man. People remember Sidon. No one remembers the Goron dude. Well, the Gorons are, all look the same. Like, literally, they all... Like, they, you, you dress the same, they, like, they talk the same, they have the personalities of... Oh, I get it. That's the thing about, like, dwarf characters, is that is that they all are kind of just... All dwarf... They all write dwarf, like, mountain characters as, like, kind of the same. Yeah. Which I don't, is, I which, don't really love how, how Gorons are handled in general. I don't really like it whenever there's a race that is just like the entire race is a joke. Just like big yeah. goofy strong guys with goofy trumpets in the background. Yeah, I also don't like it when a race is just always like uh they're like all the evil. same. Yeah, they're all or if they're all like evil. Yeah. I want a race of like of like kobolds that are just like that just run like a shop and stuff. They're just like town like shops and stuff. That'd be cool. Like, like an artistic shot. Link behind the waterfall. Yeah. It's always nice to have a visitor here. Thank you for journeying to our fair Zora's domain. Wait a moment. You! You're Link! The oh, are you the racist? Uh, they're all racist. Yeah. They're elves. Of course they're racist. Yep. You should know that Captain. the elderly here who loved Lady Mipha still remember. And they still resent you. I, uh, however, they resent used... the deed and not the person. I also believe in allowing the mistakes of past of the past to wash away. Yeah, you were... Link. I have retired from my role as a priest. I am now living my life free from the material concerns of this world. Oh, you're a retired priest? What about a wedding? Ever since I retired, each day is more boring than the last. Oh, I've got a job for you! You want to officiate a wedding? Spending half day after day in idleness, only to die soon. As I'm sure you're well aware, the afterlife lays claim to us all. We never know when it will beckon. If during your travels you meet any engaged couples. That's very specific, but also very convenient. Engaged couples, you say? Just one more wedding and I shall be fulfilled. Get a load of this! <laughs> Just one more wedding, you say? Hmm, Terrytown in Akala. That's not too far. It would please me to hurry there right away. No need to worry about me. I've always had confidence in my fins and feet. It's been a long while since I've had work. I'm eager to put my skills to good use. Right. I'm just gonna walk there very slowly. What if we... What if you could follow them? What if it was like Majora's Mask, and you could actually follow their model all the way to Akala? Dude... That would take for forever. It would take forever. That would also force you to not do this quest in, like, one one sequence like we're doing, though. Well, I mean, yeah, but, like, we're completionists, so they gotta expect that we're doing it, that people would be doing it like this. Have you ever heard of a, of a publication called Shonen Captain? Shonen Captain? Yeah. No. What is it? Uh, I'm looking it up right now. 
pink-haired female Link from 1986. Apparently Shonen Captain was like a magazine. Okay. Or were you like looking up images of other Links? I was looking up images of Link just to see if there was like anything interesting and there was a uh, pink-haired female Link that was being drawn and uh, the tag was Link Shonen Captain. And it was apparently based off of a, uh, off of this. I find this interesting. This was, a, this was drawn, apparently. Well, I would assume a pink-haired Link was based off Link to the Past. But yeah, look, look at the main difference. The main difference? They're like, you know what? Imagine a universe where this was the main Link. Okay. Like, a, a, a leggy oh. pink anime character? <laughs> I I don't know. I think a Majora's Mask, but with this link. Where is Hudson? Oh, there they are. There's the happy couple. <laughs> but in exchange, we get a male Samus. You should say stuff. Saba now. For now, I'm glad we decided to have Capson preside over the ceremony. We're in the middle of preparing, actually. Both Hudson and I are pretty busy. We're gonna need wood to build an altar. We gotta invite Hudson's boss, too. Ooh. Hey. You found Azora? Thank you, really. He and I talked earlier, and he said that he literally was a priest before he retired. Can't get more priest-like than that. A priest-like person? Oh, he was yeah, cool you... with someone who just, like, had the vague qualities. They didn't need to be ordained or anything. I didn't need to be ordained, but, like, you know, if, if you wanted me to be, like, an actual priest, I guess I could just, like... I really guess... is amazing you were able to find someone priest-like who also had an acceptable name. Like, the stars are aligning, or something. They, yeah, it was this ancient prophecy. All sons, all the time. We'll it have to invite to guests in order to hold a ceremony. I'm talking about my boss, Bolson, and my subordinate, Carson. However, I've got to prepare for the ceremony, so my hands are full. Could you invite them for me? What do you mean, where are they? They're outside my house. I know where they are. Wait, you're, you're gonna go to the fucking dudes and, like, say, hey, there's a fucking wedding? Really? Yeah, he's getting married. Is this the end of the quest? Are we done already? Already? We built an entire town, Jack. I, yeah, I guess you're right. I'm just... Uh, so once we invite them to the wedding, they will go to the wedding, and if we want to do more house stuff, then we would have to talk to them here, and they would go back to our house. But uh, I want to do all the house stuff now so that we can leave them in Terrytown. Okay. <laughs> hello, oh, they, they eventually hello, leave. Dumb Lego guy. Hey, guys. We're building the town. We're almost done. And then, and then we might get a horse. This is prime real estate. Look, it's got its own bridge. It's off in its own little, like, whole part of the town. Yeah, it's like you can just build a gate on the bridge and keep keep those like uh, pe townspeople out if you like really wanted to. So you're gonna you're gonna buy the rest of the house. Do you have enough cash? Yeah. Cool. Oh, I got I got like way more than enough. There you go. Leave me alone, Zelda. I'm a homeowner. I'm happy now. Oh, I don't want to be Ganon. Why is the blood moon rising? We beat Ganon. It does have like a little star in our save file, so it acknowledges that we beat Ganon. I don't know if it changes anything in the game. Probably not. Probably doesn't change a whole lot. Well, I can look it up. Hudson's uh, getting married and he wants me to attend the wedding. Wow, good on him. You're addling me? You think I should attend? Then come talk to me. Well, no, I want to, like, finish the house stuff first. Is that not gonna... They're not gonna let me. You have to buy Oh, wait, all there your we go. Build me something. Oh. 
After you beat the final boss, the game ends. It's completely normal. There's no post game of any kind. The only things that changed after you kill Gen at least once. Ooh. Star icon in your save file. Okay. You have a quest tracker. Oh. Simon will sell additional elite pictures. You have a map completion counter. Oh, the, the quest tracker is added post game? Yeah. Okay, because I, I noticed that. This game, unlike every other Zelda game, actually tells you like how many side quests are in it and how many you've done. Yeah. You've done 53 out of 77 total shrine the game, quests. The game will now display whether or not you defeated a mini-boss already next to their uh, health bar. Oh, that's nice. Mm. So just some, just some quality of life stuff for like completionists. Mm. That is very un-Zelda-like that it has like a number for how many quests are in the game. Yeah, that's very Metroidvania-like, honestly. Mm -hmm. Olsen Construction, what's our credo? If you can't pull the saw, ah. don't push it. <laughs> That's funny, actually. Okay, right. almost done. Just adds like five seconds to every sequence because I gotta wait for him to sit his ass back down again. And uh, get ready to receive more job. You're just gonna have to get up again. Stay standing. I just, I've taken my mandatory five second break. Give me a fucking second. Do you think Hyrule has unions? Okay. Uh, if they did, then, then they're probably just oh. local. I don't think they have unions anymore ever since the fucking Calamity. Maybe maybe in like 10 years after the Calamity is beaten, though, we'll get back up to the point where we can have unions. When I finished the, the, the White Horse quest, the old man who gave it was like, Ah, it was worth living in this godforsaken world to see this! Damn. Like, is he wrong, though? Yeah, this is, this is like very pretty and natural, but it is also post-apocalyptic. Mm. Yeah. I think the point that that guy was trying to make uh, with that every Zelda is every Zelda is the darkest Zelda is that is the fact that in some in like most of the games there's always something fucked up. Yeah. Like this game, it's all like wild and natural and stuff, but it's a post-apocalyptic. Majora's Mask has that fucked up like uh, like creepy death stuff that's going on. Uh, Ocarina of Time, you witness another apocalypse. Uh, original Legend of Zelda, it's like it's like implied that it's like the most desolate that that Hyrule's ever been. Majora is uh, the it, one that explores it like intentionally, though, as a central focus of the game. Yeah, it is. It is the one that is like the most like fucked up uh, in terms of just like a presentation. Yeah, because these the, all the other ones you kind of have to like think about it. The game doesn't really yeah. make it up front as a as a focus of the game experience. Yeah, it's just Majora's Mask hits heart hits differently because it's like it, there's nothing subtle about it. Mm. It's, Gotta get it my is... mind right, Carson. We are on, oh. right on. So in that, in that in this regard, rather than argument with the darkest Zelda games, what's the lightest Zelda game? Uh And before you say Wind Waker, it's not because it's post-apocalyptic flooding. Actually, maybe it is the lightest. It's kind of the most cheerful in a way. Then there's also stuff like, I, I don't know, I thought like some of the top-down ones, like, I don't know, Minish Cap. That, doesn't that one have, like, people turn into stone? See, I don't really know enough about a lot of the 2D Zeldas to comment on those. Yeah. Uh... Link to the Past was kind of harrowing when I, when I played it. Link's Awakening... Had it all just be a dream. That one makes it one of the most depressing. Just yeah, that fact just alone. Like, yeah. Hello, hello, Eric Goldner. We're getting a lot of people today. Welcome to the yeah. stream. Welcome. I'm Zelrog, uh, this is Jack. Hello. Uh, chat, what, what, what Zelda game do you think is the lightest Zelda game? Like, we... And, and for that matter, just say what the darkest one is as well. Every Zelda game is the lightest Zelda game. Open the darkness. Uh, since we're talking about the nature of, like, the overworld in this game, that is something that 
has been a little bit of a turnoff for what I've played of Tears of the Kingdom so far. Yeah. It's like even more post-apocalyptic. Wait, how did, how did just, shit get worse? Uh, there's like a, a big event that like tears up the <clears throat> land, so they're just kind, kind of like garbage and shit all over Hyrule. It's like one of those oh. beaches that's like covered in debris everywhere. That actually kind of like makes it for me. Yeah. I love to I love to fight in junk world. It's more war torn, where war torn looking, whereas this one is like wide open and beautiful and natural. Yeah, shit. Well, I mean, you gotta if you do the same thing again. You do have to mix up the map the map somehow. <clears throat> yeah. Is it kind of roughly the same map or? Uh, is it, like, it is as far as I'm aware, it's exactly the same map. However, they add. Now, I haven't gotten to this yet, but I believe they add, like, sky islands, and they add an underground area. Cool. So it's, like, multiple layers of the same map. That 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 sounds like that would take five years to do. You want, uh... Mm. You want maps? We'll give you maps. Reminded of uh, Elden Ring with the, uh... Like, the first time you get to the underground areas, you're like, wait, I don't think I should be here yet. Then the fucking, like, uh, like, mudmen come with their spears, and you're just like... Oh, we got a repeat. I thought they had, like, a number of unique interactions for exactly the right amount of, uh, of upgrades there were. Nope. Get sit down! Alright, now stand up! Sit down. Stand up. Do the shuffle. Uh, flowers. We need flowers. Do the hustle. So, what were they uh, saying about? Uh... uh, they didn't. They didn't really remark on like lightest or darkest games. They just confirmed uh, that they do add the the sky and our ground stuff in Tears of the Kingdom. Oh. I, okay. Cool. That was kind of a, one of the complaints people had with Skyward Sword is that like a big focus of the game is flying around in the sky, but it's not really like an open world. It's a very like uh, linear. It, no, it's not. It's not as linear as people say, but it's very insular. Like you go between specific areas as opposed to one big seamless environment. Oh. I still liked it. I sa I've said this before, but I would love for the next Zelda game to be a much smaller, like, densely packed world like the N64, okay. well, like Majora was specifically. Hmm. Because even before Breath of the Wild, the games were just kind of getting too big, in my opinion. You know, Twilight Princess took us two years to get through, and this game took us like six months. Wait, how long did this take compared to... Like six to eight months is how long we went through this game. You housing monster! You got everything? Yeah. Such is the way of youth, driven, even reckless, some might say. Since you bought everything, I threw in some free furniture. Great! Oh, okay, you're gonna go back. He didn't even sit down this time. Great. Well, I am tuckered. Couldn't swing a ball-peen hammer right now, let alone an axe. Break time! You know, I never come to see how you're doing. What do you have to say, Carson? Yeah. Hello. Ah. Hello, I'm just here. Where'd a kid like you get that kind of dough? Meat. That is the most underrated way to get, like, money in this game. You just, you, you go out in the world, you kill stuff, cook all your meat and sell it. If you cook, like, uh, five of the best meats and sell it, that's, it's like 950 rupees. It's ridiculous how profitable meat is. You just, you just become like you just open up a fucking uh, restaurant and just and just make like meat. Oh no, I don't want to. Okay, so I have di display stands that I can now use to display my drill shaft. 
and other such other such weapons and shields and things. Got a bed I can sleep in. Well, I'm not missing hearts, so that's kind of point. I got a chandelier I can bonk my head on. Where's the fly? I guess these are the flowers they planted. All right. Well, I have a complete and finished house, which means that you guys are clear to attend the wedding. Guess I'll get packed and head towards Hudson's place. Mm -hmm. This'll be fun! By the way, I subbed. Thank you for the sub, Eric. Thank you. Can't get through the second firewall in Melting Ice Hazard. Oh, that one. Uh, I think the intended oh. way to do it, which I don't think this is the way we did it, you can set the ice block down, use stasis on it, hit it a few times, and then levitate the metal block up so that it'll slide under. Also, apparently you can just, like, run... That, that was the shrine that had, like, the ice that we had to get through the walls of fire. Apparently, if you have, like, a full ice block, you can just fucking throw it through. It's not enough fire to destroy it. Hello? Jack? Yeah, I'm still here. Sorry. I'm, I'm just... I was, like, uh... I was, I muted myself to, to clear my sinuses. <laughs> what were you saying? Uh, I was just nothing. I was talking about one of the one of the shrines we did before. Oh yeah, the shrines. The shrines. I found the shrines to be like a very interesting part of this game. Just puzzling it out and stuff. Uh, Tears, of... Do you know? Are, do you know the main like gimmick of Tears of the Kingdom? Uh, you got a cyber army. You can build. Uh, you can build like uh, contraptions. Yeah. So it's, it's much more, they leaned heavily into the, the physics-based aspects, which, that's fair, a lot of people wanted that. How, how you have you having fun with it yet? Uh, I think it's kind of slow and cumbersome, so I don't actually like doing it, if I can avoid it. But again, unpopular opinion, that's just me. Dude, you can, you can like, you, what if you build, like, a, like a gunship? I haven't gone that far. Dude, just, like, engines and shit. I think that's the, why, the why biggest why. thing I made was attaching eight logs end to end to just make a giant fuck off log to cross anywhere I need to. <laughs> giant, just a giant fucking. All so right. There's no oh, more the... rock. Well, there's no more rocks to break. What's he's gonna? What's he gonna do? Are you retired now? I've I've done my piece. You can just be, like, the handyman of the village. He's the bouncer. He'll stand at the gate and, like, throw people out if needs done. Uh. We're here. Talk to Hudson. Let's get the ceremony started. Yeah. Good day. Oh, you're Australian? I, Carson, yeah. Have you already met Hudson's fiance? I've yeah. Seen her. She's a I real beauty. Her. Apparently she's an amazing tailor, too. All those clothes she sells, she makes them herself. My girlfriend also works in a clothing shop, although it's her father making all the clothes they sell. Guess it doesn't matter. Where's Hudson? I got your priest, and I got your, like, dude, there's, like, wood on the floor. That's dangerous. Someone's gonna trip. You extended my invitation for me. Thank you. Yeah, uh, you're welcome. Now, do you have a hundred more wood so we can build an altar? <laughs> Is it what he's gonna ask for? Shall we start the ceremony? Of course. Oh, is there gonna be... Oh, I hope it's a cutscene. Let's see this. <laughs> Silence, please. We shall now begin. We are gathered here today. <laughs> that nice wedding outfit. Chest that, exposed. She, yeah. She's a guru. She gotta show off those rock-hard abs. I was talking about Hudson, but yeah, her oh. too. They're just wearing white versions of their, of their normal outfits. I, I like his little, like, his, his little magic mic tie. No, he looks good. Oh, I see it! <laughs> Chippendale's, uh, bridal, like... You take Ronson to be your wife, to have and to hold, in good times and in bad. 
Yep. By the way, frozen woman back there. <laughs> Time stop, Grandma. Oh, is the is she is she not part of the cutscene? No. For the eyes of these witnesses, and before, there's only come on, there's only like ten people in town. You couldn't get all of them to attend. Old lady was like, "No, I'm retired." I'll just enjoy it from my from the, from when I'm frozen in time. You also vow to name your children in accordance with the Bolson Construction Naming Guidelines. <laughs> Wait a minute, those aren't traditional vows. What makes you say that? They're as traditional as it gets. Uh oh. <laughs> A vow- no, everyone else is into it, too. A vow of undying tradition! And a Dear vow of guidelines compliance! Dear Reddit, am I the asshole for trying to get my- to like, tell- tell my, uh, wife that we need to name our children, like, like, uh, in accordance with the construction guidelines? <laughs> oh, those are the guidelines. Fuck it. <laughs> Dude. Well, maybe you shouldn't, like, drop it on her out of nowhere during the wedding. You know, it's kind of on the spot. You didn't- you didn't agree to talk about it beforehand? Wish this new couple nothing but the utmost happiness as they set out on this journey of marital bliss. Love and marriage. <laughs> Dude. This is also one of those things, like, in Japan, where she was, like, ultra-pressured by her mom to marry as early as possible. Oh, well, yeah, you need me? Hey, where were you during the wedding? She, I have this disease. I uh, stop in time at random moments. Strange plants and guys with ugly faces live just outside the village. There are a lot of them, right? Especially the big flower to the southeast of Terrytown. Oh, is there a... Oh, is I there a... Uh... That's a fairy fountain I must have already gotten, because I have all of them. Yeah. Mess with. Oh. Southeast of Terrytown. Oh, yeah, there she is. So I, I went there and I wonder if I ever just like came here and I was like, huh, this is a conspicuous place. Oh well. Well, I guess that's it. Terrytown is, uh, we, we got a town we, we here. We built now. a town. Now we can retire until the calamity for uh, next game. Now, if I talk to these guys, let me let me see what they say, because I'm I'm curious. I think if I talk to them now, they go back to my house, but I, I don't want them to do that because they're they're an eyesore. That's my lawn. Bride and groom are so lovely, weren't they? Mm -hmm. yeah. Love, it's such a sublime, precious thing, you know. My best wishes to the couple. Now that the wedding's over, we should probably head back to Ateno Village. Oh, uh, they're gonna head back, and okay, that's. Okay, but why, though? And then it plays the song again for them leaving town. Okay, but I don't want them to do that. No, you guys can stay here. You'll never see your Hateno girlfriend again, because I don't want you loitering on my lawn. It's weird. It's the weirdest thing. Why are you... Uh, so one other bonus in this town. I don't know where he is, but there's a guy who sells you armor if you, like, uh, accidentally sell, like, special armor pieces or something. Oh, special armor pieces? Like something really ultra special? Like something you couldn't otherwise replace. Oh. It's like the, 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 the fail-safe shop. Grante. Not Dante. Different. Grante. He doesn't... Huh? I'm Don nice Grante, a dashing novice researcher of ancient civilizations. Still got a lot to learn, though. He looks like a guy who would be, like, pretending to be Link. Yeah. What was, that, what was that guy guy's name who was like mistaken for Sanji, the biker dude? Yeah, uh, Cavendish. Yeah, he looks like that to Link. You must have come a very long way to get here. 
As a reward, I let you buy my ultra rare armor at a decent mm. price. All right. Uh -huh. oh. Yep, climb, mm -hmm. barbarian. So stuff that you can only find in the world once, you can buy multiple of here. Oh. Just in case. <laughs> even even they know it it's shit. They're selling it for 50. <laughs> I think once we find the Hylian shield, we can also get more of them here as well. Oh, cool. So, uh, what do you think? Do you want to do you want to try looking for the Hylian shield? Do we want to do the Ganon horse? Let's get the Ganon horse. I want to see the Ganon horse. You like One Piece? Yeah. We are, uh... <clears throat> we've watched One Piece up to the... Doflamingo. What, what, what's the name of that? Dressrosa arc. Dressrosa. And I, I, I've been meaning to, like, catch up on it through manga, but I keep getting distracted with real-life stuff. And Jack uh, noped out stuff. of the anime at that point because of the pacing. And the pacing was garbage! Like, like, I love One Piece's story, but, like, the anime's paced like shit. I do, I am looking forward to the, the Netflix, like, remake. Not the live action, but the new anime for it. Because yeah. if there's any anime that needs, like, a Kai version, it's One Piece. Yeah. DBZ, Kai, like, getting a Kai version? Like, oh, God, that's the thing. The, the fucking, uh... Ugh. You know when they announced that, I was, like, so excited, because I thought they were actually... They said they were, like, redrawing and redoing everything. So I was expecting updated animation that would look as good as, like, GT or, like, the Budokai cutscenes. And it just kind of... They, they ended up, like, tracing everything. So it was exactly the same shots and scenes, just in widescreen. Okay. Eh. So that was kind of disappointing. Yeah. that's They should have promised that. They should have just said, we're... Re, we're we're uh, updating the artwork a little bit, and then be like, okay, cool. Also, I've never been able to get used to uh, calling Clink and Beard as uh, Gohan and Kid Goku. I, I yeah. just hear Luffy every time she does that voice. Oh, yeah. Luffy yell, shout, shouting Kamehameha. I forget who the original voice of uh, those two was. I wonder what she's up to. Uh, probably enjoying, like, retirement. I had thought I, I thought for sure Linda Young had retired, but then out of nowhere we heard her in Chainsaw Man. Yeah, th there she was. Uh, Just as being like a, a zombie demon. devil. Yeah. Just fuck yeah, Chainsaw Man. I'll do I'll do that. Little Forrest Gump, what's up, horse? I hate the horses in this game. They make you work so hard just to have a workable like mount. Soothe the horse. Right, I'm supposed Eat to... apples! I, I, did, I fed it two whole apples, and it still doesn't love me. You can check in the stables to see how much it, uh, its bond with you is. It's like uh, 45 or something. No. It's Out of 100. It, it needs to be trained. You're supposed to soothe it only when it does what you want, and it's like kind of vague when that is exactly. Uh -oh. Oh. There's one. There you go. Uh, we go. No, we're not going the right way. We're going another. We have to go another way. Horse. Dumb fucking horse. <laughs> Stallion that mounts the world. Am I the only one here? Maybe. We, do, we don't get like a ton of viewers. But uh, welcome yeah. all the same. I'm Zelrog. This is Jack. We, we must, we... It's fun to do this. That's why, that's why I like doing it. So, uh... This is our first time playing Breath of the Wild. We didn't... I've, I've been, like, saving myself for it until we were able to stream it, and uh, we finished it recently. We're just doing, like, some extra side stuff that we missed for this stream. And, uh, if... Anyone watching cares to see all of our stuff is uh, archived on YouTube. You're going. Oh, it's got five spurs. This is like, there's a couple horses that are special in this game, and this one has like the best number of dashes. 
I gotta tame it first, but... It's a wild horse. It does have a wild temperament, unfortunately. Yeah. Uh, other special horses are the Ganon horse. So this is a descendant of Zelda's horse. This other one is supposedly a descendant of Ganon's horse. Uh, there is a thing called, like, the the Guardian of the Forest or something that is, like, clearly Princess Mononoke-inspired. Oh, yeah, and it's got horns and shit. It's like, a, it, it's kind of like a horse version of the Bloopies, the little blue glowing magic rabbits. Oh! Unfortunately, you cannot stable it, so that makes it kind of not worth the effort of, like, tracking down and taming. Oh, that sucks. And there are skeleton horses that you can take from the mobs that ride them. But they also but, cannot be stabled, and they burn at, like, 5 a.m. or whatever. Yeah. Then this... I, I, I could have sworn this game had, like, a had like a motorcycle. It's, no, it doesn't have a motor... Not that I'm aware of. They, uh, it does okay. suck that you can't have the skeleton horse or the... Or the other one, though. Or the fucking... I saw Vinny mount a bear... Apparently <laughs> you can do that, and you can just ride a, the, the bear around. You can control it. And if you bring it to a stable, they're like, Well, that's not a horse! By the way, if you buy the second DLC for the game, that's how you get the fucking Master Cycle Zero. The second DLC? There's two DLC for Breath of the Wild? Uh, yes. The Champion's oh, Ballad. Okay heard that there was a giant horse living in this region. Apparently, it can't be found anywhere else. That was all we needed to hear. We headed this way to investigate right away. Big horse. Really big horse right. in this region is likely part of a rare local species. Giga horse. With all the monsters roaming around, we can't go any further to be so close to discovery. Mm. There was even a monster that looked quite a lot like a horse. I approached it thinking at first that it was the giant horse we've been looking for, but... Oh, it was terrible. Oh, there's a... Are we gonna have to fight a Lionel for this? You got it. Oh, your thing is uh, is marked. How would you like to go fight a giant horse for us? Say the giant horse lives around the Taobab grassland. That'd be northwest of here. All right. Taobab Grassland. Don't see yeah. that. Oh, that, wow, that's way up there. Uh, hmm. All right. I'm almost, I'm tempted not to take the horse, because trying to control this thing will make the trip take longer. Just, are you gonna, just going to run with your enhanced stamina? Uh, I'll try it. I'll take that, the horse. Yeah. Horse. Or I guess, you know, we could fast travel there. That'd be faster, in fact. Can you, can you fast travel on the horse? I don't... We cannot fast travel on the horse. That is one of the unfortunate limitations of horses. Yeah. Unfortunate. Oh, well. Leave the horse behind. Uh... Wait, Basically that's power. where the camel settled down? Yeah, over there. Well, it's high up on a mountain. mountain. Can we glide down from there? Sure you can. It's also kind of closer than the other one. Have you seen the uh, the the concept art for this game? That did uh, include Link on a motorcycle and wearing like a leather jacket and shit. Wasn't that the, also the one where Ganondorf was wearing a Metallica shirt? Was he? I think that's the same one. Yeah, he was wearing a Metallica shirt. They were looking at an alien corpse. Man, I want to play that game. <laughs> that's Jack's Zelda game. My my Zelda game is weird, and I like like a modern Zelda game where like the where like they're dealing with aliens and shit. What is that? Uh, what's that yellow marker? What? Why is it Leviathan? Okay, no, not doing that right now. Not gonna worry Leviathan about that. Leviathan bones. <laughs> bones of the Leviathan. The yellow spot. You have to bond with it with apples. I know. I'm, just, I'm not going to take the time until... this stream. Feed it I... apples and then it'll be fine. Huh? Whee. 
every game should have this. Every game should give you a glider and let you have it early. Oh yes. Or a wingsuit. I would I would be fine with a wingsuit as well. That's one of the things that makes Dragon Quest Builder so much nicer than Minecraft in many ways, is that you get a, a glider like very early. And it's yeah. just so nice to have to traverse big blocky maps. Yeah, they know it's fun. It, a Minecraft fun. glider is one of those things like the the, th the triple jump in Mario 64. By the time you get it, there's no game left. Yeah, you want something that... Well, why do you give this thing? Well, just you build uh, you build the game around it, and then like a lot of lives. It's like what 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 are we? What am I supposed to do with all this? It's it's useless. What do you want me to do with this? Oh, we've been spotted. I'm not here. Bye. No, that's fine. Just juke it. Oh, there's the Ganon. I can see it from here. It's like the Great Wall of China. You know what's going to be good for this? Stealth. I get my ninja costume. Uh, that's another thing that I... That's one thing I don't don't like about this game. There's a lot of cool shit locked behind Amiibos. Oh, yeah. I Yeah, that's... Uh, you gotta buy and collect them all. There's, uh... Yeah, there's outfits for all the different links. There's, uh... There's special wet. Oh, that's right. So the one Zelda amiibo that I have is the Ganondorf amiibo, which gets me yeah. this. It's the sword, sword from Twilight Princess. Is just oh. in this game. But if it breaks, you have no way of getting it again. Uh, I would have to get. Uh, I would have to like do the amiibo are like loot boxes. So I would have to like load and reload and use the amiibo over and over again until I get the sword again. That's lame. Let me show you how it works. So I got one amiibo use for the day. Put Ganon on here. Come on, Ganon. There you go. Just get free shit out of this guy. Uh, Something is moving behind you. That's all you got for me? Apples? And topaz. Topaz. Oh, free topaz. Yeah, you just get a bunch of little, little little freebie stuff when you get amiibos. Uh, if you put Wind Waker Link in, you get a bunch of fish. <laughs> that's that's clever. I think there's like a, there's a Wind Waker boomerang. There's a if you have the Twilight Princess Zelda amiibo, you can get a bow with light arrows. There's a lot of cool Ooh. shit for amiibo, and thankfully, apparently, all of I'm told all of that stuff is in Tears of the Kingdom without amiibo being required. That's nice. I mean, I'm glad. I wonder what, if they. I wonder if they still used amiibo uh, integration for that one, or if they just decided, nah. I think we're I, good without it. You can do this. Still do the thing like I just did, where you uh, you put an amiibo in and you get like a little goodies drop. But there's nothing, to my knowledge, that are, is locked behind them. There's also some outfits that are cool that are uh, locked behind. Uh, the DLC for this game. Namely, uh, there's a whole Tingle outfit and there's Majora's Mask you can get if you own the DLC. Hmm. The only uh, base game armor that I don't have is uh, you get a like classic Link outfit if you do all 120 shrines. That's... Oh, wow. That is a big-ass horse. All right! Soothe! Soothe! Soothe faster! Mm. Alright. I have befriended Ganon Horse. Oh, He's gee, fucking massive. Oh my god. Alright. Back to the stable we go. Alright, alright, boy. I'll go ahead and delete that. Sorry, Zolda, you've been replaced. Oh, we gotta we so we gotta go back there manually. We can't fast travel or anything. Yeah, you got you, you go back there with like a probably the most temperamental horse in existence. That's gonna be miserable. Watch, it'll be like better behaved than Zolda is. We'll see. He's a good boy. Let's trample the other horses to show superiority. <laughs> Rare breed of horse. 
Oh, it is it is sad that these are the only two in the game that you can uh, you can actually like keep. Oh, uh, another thing locked behind. Ow. Oh shit! I'm sorry. Why'd you run into it? I thought I I don't know. I thought he could like trample them. Do you think you, you thought he could like you thought it wouldn't be affected by currents, man? <sighs> Fucking mobble! Get out of here! You know what? Gonna worry about fighting him. No, I'm not. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna become one of them. Disguise. Not... Oh, see, we're cool. Okay. Oh, sorry, I didn't reckon. Oh, he's shooting at you though. All right. Well, this will stop more moblins now that it's daytime and they'll no longer spawn. Horse. Wait, no, come back! You dolt. You just, like... Alright, yeah, just... Okay, the skeleton's not gonna work. Here we go. Now I won't be pestered by Bokoblins, because I am clearly a Bokoblin. Riding the giant-ass horse. Oh, that's right. I, I still have... You can only have one, like... One main horse at a time. I'm sorry. Ow! Did, <laughs> the did dog he, attack? The wolves! Just don't fuck around and get fucked I was trying... I was pressing forward and the horse was not moving. That's why the horse got bitten. You know what? Uh, no, not him. Why? I'm not pressing down. Why are you whistling? Apples. Apples fix everything. Going? What? Is your controller finally going? Oh, here. Hey. Uh, Gandonorf. Stop moving. Here. There you go. <laughs> Apples. You... <laughs> oh, I didn't invent gravity, okay? Don't blame me. You... <laughs> so you're saying that it's that it's every, that all, everyone else's fault? Oh, I'm pressing down because I'm trying to put my, uh, my weapon away. <laughs> what weapon? The, the spear. Oh, I thought it was a... okay. Oh, it seems like, uh, it seems like, uh, Ganon Horse is, like, better well-behaved now. Uh, so Ganon Horse does not have, he has no stamina. He cannot do the dash at all. But he's a fucking, like, tank. What, is that the, is that the Guardian noise? Oh, that's a Lionel! Just run from it, my I man! I am running from it! <laughs> I'm gonna eat shit, though. Oh, Ganon Horse is gonna die. No, Ganon, please. Good horse. <laughs> Tramples a fucking bird. See, it didn't follow you. It just wanted to be left alone. I thought it was a it's... moblin, so I put on the moblin mask. You thought it was a moblin? What is that? Is there another one? What is this Lionel country? Can't stop here. I'm. I'm okay. When he turns, I'm not doing that. That's the horse like doing its own shit. Then, then soothe it when it's like doing what you want it to. You're not. You suck at giant horse rearing, man. Just. I'm. Oh, I'm soothing it. It doesn't seem to. It doesn't care. It's not responding. hop on a horse and expect it to immediately bond with you. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna fjord the, fjord the river. Are we going the right way? Eh, uh, kinda. I mean, there's nowhere else you could go. You can't, like, 
climb a mountain with a horse, even with with Super Ganon horse. Uh, I was saying one of the other things that is uh, it's too late to work now. One of the other things that is locked behind amiibos is Epona. So you can get, like, a horse with perfect stats, and it is Epona. And gentle temperament, probably. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. If you buy the amiibo. Yep. Yeah, locked behind shit, so that's uh, unfortunate. And probably the coolest thing locked behind amiibo is uh, Wolf Link. So you can actually summon Wolf Link and have him walk around and, like, be your buddy. Oh, man! If you have the Wolf Link amiibo. That's rough. I, I don't like the fact that they decided to try this kind of, like, monetization scheme. Oh, I see you, Forrest. Hello. Well, I'm focusing on the game, and I don't think Jack is looking at chat. No, I'm, uh, I, uh... I'm not... There's a lot to take, to take Hey, in. look up here. That horse, it's huge! I've never yeah. seen one that big. That is definitely an endemic species. Dire I, horse. Can I take a good look at that horse? Be careful. I can't control it. This is impressive. It's gonna it's gonna buck him in just like one shot. He's gonna die. Oh yeah. It's gonna be amazing. With this much info, I can feel my spirit for discovery murmuring in contentment. It's definitely different seeing something with your own eyes rather than just reading about it. Thank you. Alright. Build up my rupees supply again. Okay, go. Horse. We still Horse, have to get to it to a stable you. in order to register it. But we don't have a stable that's big enough to, to, like, fit it. Make it fit. Will it fit? I have both of those. Both uh, horses or both amiibos? Horse. Giant ass horse. God, they make you do so much work just for above average speed travel. Meanwhile, fast travel is free. It just doesn't feel worth it to use horses in this game. No, it's like you explore with horses and then after you're done with it, you just gotta move on. From like using horses, I guess. So it's not whenever it's doing what you want it to do, it's after it disobeys and you get it back on track again. That's when you okay. soothe it. Alright, there you go. So you, so, it has to, so you have to do it immediately, you can't just, like, wait too long. Hey Zelda, look at this horse I got. That's the cursed horse of legend! Yeah, I, I'm gonna call it Red Hair, because it's got red hair. <laughs> what if Ganondorf found out? So we know Ganondorf's in the next game. What if he finds out that we have the descendant of his horse and we named it like a Snuffles or something? <laughs> That's not what it was called. It was called Cuddles. By the way, have you encountered like flesh and blood Ganon yet in, in Tears of the Kingdom? Is well, he's like how the game starts, so yeah. Oh. And he's like, oh, I'm, I seem to be back. Thank you for uh, for ta taming my rage. I'm I'm here now. He actually isn't like we we don't see him rehydrate in the start of, of Tears of the Kingdom. As far as I've seen, he's still in zombie mode. Oh. I say I seem to be a bit uh, thin. You think you could help me out? Well, I, I know he does rehydrate eventually, and then we catch him mid suavemente. I don't know how it happens yet. Thank you, uh, Terminal Velocity. Strength. Sp okay, they're both wild temperament, but, uh, Ganon Horse does like me more than Zolda does. Yeah, because you figured out how to bond with a horse properly. Oh, I don't know if I can afford 20 rupees. Uh -huh. So what are you going to call it?
Dragmire, nice. Oh. Uh, I'm sure, I'll take Ganon Horse. It, he likes me slightly more than Zolda does. And he'll eventually like you enough. Oh, oh he's got like, uh, he's got his, uh, I guess he doesn't come with his own gear like uh, the Zelda horse does. I gotta get the monster gear for Ganon Horse eventually. Hey. Yeah, that, oh, that would fit really well. <laughs> what? It's so much bigger than the others. <laughs> horse, horse. <laughs> he's got like kind of a smug smile too. Dude, that is like, that is like an epic ass horse too. That is such a such a giant horse. Man, we can't get Tingle in any more games, but we get Beetle all the time. People like Beetle in the West. No, wait, I don't want that. Actually, you don't want anything you're selling. Cook some lizards. Uh, are you up to do the Hylian shield thing? Yeah, let's get this. Let's get the shield to match the sword. Where do you know where it is? Yeah. Cool. Well, there you go. In fact, there was a... Uh, so there's actually one shrine inside of Hyrule Castle. So I got that, and now we have a fast travel point. Oh, yeah, we're going to have to go underneath uh, Hyrule Castle. I, I checked this out a little bit before the stream just so I knew where it was, and we we do have like a little uh we have a trick that we can use to get there quickly. Cool. Hey, I stole your horse. What do you have to say about that? <laughs> yeah, not much, because you're a fucking you're a monster now. I'm a Bokoblin. Lol. <laughs> Picture that one comic. Where he did a uh, oh, solid snake, he's wearing like a crocodile uh, like head and he's just like staying incredibly still. Does Metal Gear 3 re that's not out yet? I don't think so. They had the, the collection come out and some people were mad at that because it didn't have like any like new modern features, it was just kind of the games emulated. Yeah. That's kind of what Konami does, though. Let me put on some stealth gear. At least while we're in Guardian Country. God damn it. No, I'm stealthy. You're about as stealthy as... Oh, you're... But you weren't crouching. Oh, you don't I think that's our spot. That's our cave down there. Deep into the cave. God. No. Bye. Later. You think anyone heard that? What, the, the landing? The explosion. Oh, probably not. I don't remember if I talked about it, but I do really like the, the Hyrule Castle music in this game. The way it alternates between, uh, it has like an organ version when you're indoors, and a, like, orchestral version when you're outdoors. Yeah, it, it is nice. Oh, oh shit. Ice rocks. You gotta fight him? Yeah, you are. Get, fight Link, please. Oh my god, am I stuck? There we Fine, go. Just, just... A minecart section? Oh, there's, a, there's a track. Yeah. I, I just want their goodies. Drop amber.
I'm in. There you go. Here we go. Yay. Oh, bats. Oh, sorry. Uh, can you do this while you're inside the thing? Because, boy, that would be convenient. I think you can. Why wouldn't you be able to? Okay, good. I wonder how those would be intended to be operated normally in universe. Is someone just supposed to push them the whole way? Uh I don't think so. I think I think the way you're doing it's supposed to be the right one. So like the the workers who were using these minecart tracks had stasis? I think mainly they, they it was powered by ancient technology and that's all gone, so you have to make do with what you get. With that when it comes to the uh all, all this for a shield. Is it here? A shield here? No, it's just apples. apples. I have so many apples. Yeah, you, got, you, can, you can make uh, all a bunch of horses very happy. Da -da 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 -da. All right, what do you got? Uh oh. You got dungeons. Or the dragons. Lock up. I think I stumbled into here, like some other time off screen. I didn't go the way that we just went. I, I think that's the intended way to get in. Oh, there you go. Is oh. that going to be enough to open the gate? Yeah. Uh, Wait, what? Well, not what. Uh. What? Did Wait, I just have one to... chance and that's it? I can't freeze under it. No way. That's... Surely not. Wow. I'm not even angry at you. That's that's some that's some bullshit. There must there must be something I'm missing. Like I feel like they wouldn't do that, but also that was a way in, so I'm just going to take it. Oh, but it stayed oh, open a, that time. There's a there's a lever, is what it is. Oh, how'd you toggle the lever? I don't know. Okay. Alien shield? No, just topaz. All right. Oh, hello. So this is something that we never saw during our playthrough. Giant like skeletal warrior. There's a uh, skeleton Hinox type of mini boss. There's also a couple of these out in the overworld, and we just never happened to run into one. Okay, I have fought this before, but. Uh, Dude just throws bones at us. But it was in the Pit of Trials. Oh, that's like uh, DLC stuff, right? Yeah. Come on, do something. Commit. Let me punish your end lag. You have a bow, you can shoot the eye. Yeah, I could. Maybe you're not. All right. I don't know what I expect from you at this point. Okay, you're good. All right. Let me get the boulder breaker. It's about to be a bone breaker. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. That, there you go. Hitting the shit out of it. I wonder if he's gonna... Oh! Okay! Yeah, now you gotta hit the eye. Yeah, it won't stay in one place, though.
Kill the eye. Oh, it's running back. Uh oh. Ah, uh oh. That's uh... food, please. I just the radishes are amazing. You just cook one radish and you get this shit. Full yeah, recovery just... and extra hearts. Yeah, that's why that's why people were so concerned about about running out of radishes in their garage. Because they're like superfood. Okay, yeah, get your bone. I only need one more hit. Please? Don't. No, that's not how that works. You gotta, you gotta not, you gotta shoot the eye out. God damn it. Oh. There we go. You got him, finally. This is how you get the Hylian shield. Yeah, that's why we're here. Okay, kill a skeleton to get a royal broadsword. Great Thunderblade. Well, they're all weaker than Daruk's weapon, but... Test you know, of the Royal Guard. Strike down the giant foe to become recognized as a Knight of the Kingdom. You probably lost a lot of Knight candidates doing that. No, it's fine. We get, we get all the worthy people. Ninety. Nine? Wow. It's also, like, crazy durable, so it lasts forever. You Jeez. can, like, uh, you can reflect Guardian lasers with it. Jeez. Yes, please. It's so much better than the Master Sword. Like, this is the shield that you get and then you use for the rest of the game. The Master Sword you get and you're like, all my other stuff's better. Uh, you get The Master Sword you get and you're like, I wonder if I need to upgrade it. You do. How... By purchasing the DLC. I wonder, like, what, I wonder how did they, uh... How did they... Like, remove the Master Sword from the equation in Tears of the Kingdom. Oh, uh, yeah. I, I could spoil it if you want me to, but it, it is explained. No, nah, it's fine. It's fine. Don't, don't worry about it. How do you think Fi feels? Is she, like, she's still in there. Do you think she's, she'd, like, uh, be upset that I was using the Master Sword to chop wood? I think she's like, well, as long as it's useful for you, Master... All right, well, that's all done, which means the only thing left that we have to do is that one cutscene that we missed. Let's go check in with Impa. There's Kakariko. I wasn't planning to come back to this, but I'm... On my off time, I, I maybe I will 100% this game, I don't know. I don't know about, like, all 900 Koroks, but besides that... Jack, are you still awake? I am, yeah, sorry, I'm just like... You, you've been sick the last couple days, how you feeling? I have, yeah, I've been, I've been dealing with a cold and allergies, so I've just been like... Uh, but I, but I miss streaming, and I, and I miss, I, I just, I had to cancel plans yesterday because I was popping a fever. It was, it was rough, and I'm still kind of just like out of it, as you can tell. But you know, it was a nice tool stream building. Oh, Impa's final uh, thing. Got it. I did the thing. I sense it. Their presence. Daruk, Arbosa, Rivali, Mifa. A hundred years ago, I put my life on the line to fight alongside everyone. Oh. I could not protect them. Yeah. Oh, there was a, you. You were like a combatant. I bet that's it. Excuse me. Yeah. I bet that's an age of calamity. Did we get uh, playable combat Impa? Yeah. I mean, I'm gonna look up that art. Age. Uh... I don't know if I'll get that or not, because I did like the original Hyrule Warriors, but the main draw was that it was a crossover for me. Yeah, it is like. I can also sense that they were all overjoyed to see you again. Oh. Now you all serve the same purpose. It is time to collect attack Calamity Ganon. We already Actually. killed him. Wait, what? Oh, really? Yes. Oh. I believe you will find Calamity Ganon in Hyrule Castle. 
Even with Dude. blessings of the divine beasts on your side, you must be careful. He will be well protected. Okay. Oh, wow. Well, I did a that. Age of Calamity uh, Impa is is straight up waifu material. Yeah. Let me let me uh pop into pop it in her into the chat so you can take a look. There you go. I didn't do that. Apparently, there's a whole like storyline involving getting like this for a shrine. We'd also didn't yeah. get around to. Yeah, there's a lot we didn't get around to, but you know what? Hopefully there would be other people that would... Uh... Oh, she looks... Yeah, that's what she looks like. She Paya. looks exactly like... Yeah, like Paya. Yeah. Impa, Paya. That, the same person. By the way, uh, the, the evolution of Impa in Age of... Uh, in, in, like, Zelda. She went from being, like, just... Random old woman in, like, a robe. To old woman with gray hair. To bodacious, like, uh... Like, uh, like ninja woman. With like big pouty lips, to uh to a big beautiful woman, uh, to a Skyward Sword just a ninja again, and then a link between worlds. She's an old woman again, and then now we're here with old woman. This is the youngest Impa that we've had. Is the one in Age of Calamity, apparently. Yeah. Well, this one's the. Is this, does it make this one the oldest? Uh, no, I'm not trying to call my horse. Princess Arzelda, I leave her life in your hands. 10,000 no, years ago. I know ago. that. I know about Calamity Ganon. I beat him. He's dead, lady. Okay, let me look this up. Wait, oh, the... Wait. This is oh. a cutscene that we've seen okay, before. Yeah. All right. The royal family of Hyrule is also the history of Calamity Ganon. I'm doing an old lady voice. That has endured over the ages. Yep. Skip. I've seen. Done. After you find the 12 captured memories, return to Impa in Kakeriko Village. She'll tell you about the last captured memory and show you a picture on her wall that can guide you there. Oh, did you check a look? I think we did this already. You think we did? I think we did. Okay. They checked the picture on the wall. Maybe we didn't. I just forgot. Yeah, we did. Okay. Well, that's a little anticlimactic. I thought we had not done the 13th memory, and that would be like the final thing of the stream. But nope, we did it. There it is. Yeah, it was. Uh, it was like an apocalyptic event, right? The. Uh... I guess. Yeah. Do we have? Because there are more than thirteen memories in like the, the the log. So I, d I don't remember where all of the other ones were. Yeah, it's we got it all scattered around. All 15. right. Well, I, gu I guess that's it then. We're done, right? Yeah, we're done with uh, with everything. We're finally can finally put this to bed. Let me uh, let me put my my gimp suit back. Uh, you know what? I have the guardian gear too. We haven't worn that yet. That looks, that looks pretty rad, actually. There we go. Alright. Well, that is the true and official end of our Breath of the Wild streams. We did the Terrytown quest. I yep, thought it was, was cool. Yeah, it was cool. It was like, building a town and then I'm disappointed we buried. missed it while we were playing, because that would have been my favorite part of the game. Yeah. But, uh, we I did see. that. If... I do end up getting the DLC, then maybe we'll do one more stream of that. We'll have rounded off at 10 Breath of the Wild streams, and I'll do yeah. the pit or the trials or whatever it is you're talking about. Yes, yes. You make an attempt at that. that that's going to be something pretty special. But uh, that's it for now. Thank you guys yeah. for tuning in. Nice having you guys with us. Uh, yeah. A lot of new people. That was nice. Visit us on YouTube if you want to see our VODs, and we also have a highlights channel. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys next time. See you next time.